let's say someone tells you Earth is ending oh, in yeah. 50 years. Oh. Would I'd, you cop a flight? I'd leave you, it like year 45. Ride it out? All right, what if someone told you? What if someone you told know you Eric's this? getting on that, the last person <laughs> on that flight. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh, no. Someone said, the last Damn, one I on that flight. <laughs> yeah, you would, you would miss the Stuff. What did you bring over here, my good sir? I don't oh. even know. Whoa. It's a bag of weed. That's how new it's it is. It's a bag of weed. That's how life is for Bob. Um, I also don't think I'm allowed to tell anybody what it is, so that also is part of the deal. Oh, mm, okay. Um, that's very fair. Right. Mystery. Well, luckily hey. for me, they don't tell me, so that makes it much easier. He's so got we have some, some mystery weed out here. We definitely today. do. Um, mystery weed, mysterious guy. That's who, who our guest is. We got a stranger in, in here today. Who knows, man? Who Super knows? Mysterious. He's been in there multiple episodes, and we still got layers to pull back, baby. We're on episode 77 of Pine Park After Dark with a much much requested guest. Thank you, Barney, for pulling back up to the studio. Third, fourth, fifth episode. I don't know at this point, but we'll have him on for many more for a damn sure. I'm your host, yep. Eric Hahn. We got Goblin over there. Tim over there. A little bit of a different Yo, arrangement. I it can is a see new you. year. I can switch it up today. Right. Yeah, we did switch it up. I'm on this side. It is feeling quite weird. I'm definitely feeling a little weird. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you feel like me. I don't yeah, know. Like you. I feel, like I'm like, what's happening right now? I feel like I have an eye patch and a child. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm not going to discuss why he organized Yeah, wait. This why this would way? you put the guy with. Only his left eye on the far left side when the screen's on the right. So they could see my eye. Cause they, they, but is it? But is it like when he leans like this. When he leans like this. Look, the viewers the viewers have commented a few times where like, hey, it's kind of. Oh, they can't see it on that side? Well, like, yeah, I, I, like I, I, I'm usually sitting like this. And then they, they just see the eye patch. So they, they don't get no reaction, no emotion, nothing. That's what they've said. Oh. So we're trying to, we're trying right, to feel it out. It's all in the eyes. Today, Tim, show ah! me love. Love. Yeah, wow. There we go. That, that, that kind of took emotion. me for a second. <laughs> what emotion was that? Out of fear. Mm. Are you scared of me? Of you specifically? No. Uh, you screamed like at me, so like, I don't know. Specifically, no. There's no need to it be gave scared. Me like an at me kind don't of, bite me, guys. There's no uh, need to be scared I'm because you can me. get Imperial Extractions for free. Who is the Dude. sponsor of today's video wow. and today's wow. podcast? episode i can't believe it man we're changing up the deal a little bit you've probably heard of this deal before from uh, imperial extractions they're those kind people that have that very nice thca they have those 50 state legal cannabinoids that you can get shipped right to your door we can all smoke it together you know we have it on the table right here big doinks big doinks, big doinks. they got doinks. three different yep. strains of this very specific diamond infused two gram pre-roll you used to have to add it on to an order but now you can get it by itself for free all you got to do is pay for shipping, man. All you got to do is go to imperialextraction.com, use our code PINEPARK, that's P-I-N-E-P-A-R-K, and you get a free two grand pre-roll. Just got to pay a few bucks for shipping. Yo. That's a deal and a half right there. Kind of dope. That's a deal, a deal and a deal. half. I do Absolutely like that more. Stellar. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're already loaded up. All right. I thought that's what we were doing. I'm about to warm up. I'm warming up the nail over here. So when you guys are ready, some of that grind. There's a chunky grind right here. I like it. It's interesting. This is the Flower Mill Pro Edition. Flower Mill version two. Oh, it's not a fucking Cubis? We need to get you a Cubis. There's a couple. I uh, I'm supposed to be getting a Cubis at some point. I can't decide what color I wanted my Cubis. Tell me what color you want. It's been a hard. Get it. So we've gone back and forth. Okay. Um. Did I want purple stab? and green? Did I want green and purple? Well, I part own that brand now, so I can. I just, just I make I can get it made for you like this week. You can just tell me what color you want. I can give you more. I can yeah. give you different parts, so you could switch the color. Ooh, you know, modular. Kind of, it's hard to say no to modular. It is modular. modular. And it does chop. Yes. Yes. I it, am a fan of the chop. So we have chunky and fine grind. Josefo has the fine grind. Um, I'm a chunky guy. The big chunk. You got man. chunk. I'm a chunky chunk. guy. Like you. a chunk. I, you'll love it. I'll, I'll get you one. Okay. Just I'll text like, me what colors you want. I like them done. thick. So yep. hey, yo, I've heard you can't do white too. Um, white is really tough because we we did white one time. It was for the first ever Goblin Grinders we did, uh -huh. and we only did a hundred of them because it sucked ass to do. You have to like double coat the color, and it doesn't last very well. Um, it's more prone to like chipping because it's different you you can't really anodize like white like you can other colors 
Interesting. So, I don't even know what anodizing means. It's a whole process with like getting the color into the metal. So we the, the grinders aren't really painted. The color's like actually in the metal. So it's it's cool. That's how it's cool made process. baby. We don't do it. Yeah, that is. You anodized your baby. Ooh, he got it in you. there. Bro, or did his wife anodize it? Ooh, I don't know how that works. Either. I think his wife anodized it. Um, you just formed it, <coughs> she painted oh. it, and the baby mm-hmm. comes out. Yeah, like he, a made the parts. he did like the CNC, like the machining, mm-hmm. and then she anodized. That makes sense. That's logical. What if it's like the baby just grows really slowly on like a track? And it finally, it's like, <laughs> like it's, it's built like, like arm by arm. Like Henry, Henry Ford <laughs> built it. Like. <laughs> Henry Ford's at the end of the assembly line with like his hat off, just like. God bless. Yeah. <laughs> Another yeah, good, good job. Then the baby just pops out. That's crazy. Imagine. Yeah. If someone's slacking yeah. off, it comes out with like, that's all fucked up. Like, oh, oh, that's what that's happens. Did someone, someone was fucking taking a break on the yeah, assembly line. The they were a little lazy. Line, you I'm know? trying to be polite and wait for the gob, but. Sorry, you know. I was talking about like baby. I'm cooling down. I'm almost ready too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Are, we, are we really going to time this properly? This is oh, going to be amazing. We're going to time Timmy. Timmy's going to come ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Run it. Here's everybody. I hope you're smoking along with us. Yeah, that's nice. Very smooth. It's nice. There's an Advil over here. Just <laughs> the Z nice juice. And sweet. The trilogy over nice, here is like, going sweet, crazy. Like, mm. like gassy sweetness. I like that. 2024 trilogy. Damn, it's smoking. And you don't know what the right? hell it is, do you? This one I do. Oh, you do? What this is, is D1. One? From oh, Green okay, Dog. okay. Um, We've smoked that before, I believe. I do. I smoke a lot I of D1. I love D1 from um, It is probably my favorite strain right now. Mm. I go back and forth. I can't leave Triple Lindy. Okay. Um, Triple Lindy from Blueprint will forever be that thing for that me. That one. Um, you know, one day I will answer the magical questions of like, you know, what the best strain ever is. But mm-hmm. I think I need another like 20 years. Yeah. Is Triple Lindy what put Blueprint like kind of on the map? I feel like that's what made like the biggest splash, I feel like. I'd say the biggest splash, not the first splash. Mm, okay. Um, first splash was P90, I think. Probably Jesus yeah. Shuttlesworth. Mm. Um, Jesus Shuttlesworth. Yeah. Jesus Shuttlesworth is a fire. I remember the P90 for sure. The P90 was gas. And then the triple came out and that was sort of all she wrote. Wow, well, that's all it took. Yeah, we were really What was it about the that. triple Lindy, do you think, that just got people excited? I think it was reminiscent Terps. Mm. Um, so it did everything all the old school cats wanted. They wanted some of that gas. They wanted all that. But it also had that sweetness to it. The smoke was spectacular. It was smooth. Super crazy. It was almost like that first time I heard Jordan talk about flavored oxygen. Mm-hmm. Whoa. That's, how, that, that's the goal for Blueprint Flower. Yeah. Flavored oxygen that gets you higher than a kite. Not smoke. That's a good that's goal. like you can taste or harsh. Like you yeah, can feel you just, it's just. Just want to take a fat bong rip like we did. I mean, I think that's, you know, three fat bong rips, not a cough. Whoa. It's a good day. Just saying. That's a good day right there. Man. No, no. And, and that's, that's true though, because like I don't smoke a ton of flour. You know, like I smoke hash, right? I'm a dabber. But recently, I've been smoking a little flour, and I just went to your place and got some, uh, some turtle pie, the RS11. Mm. Smooth as shit. I haven't coughed once. I smoked a whole eighth of it. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't cough one fucking time, How did which you is insane. this eighth, my friend? A bong. Woo! Let's go. Hey, bong snaps you. every, every single hit. Yeah. I took a bong hit. Damn. Smooth, never coughed. It was delicious. It fucking burned good. Like, it was just... So there's a difference when you're smoking shitty weed out of a bong. And you're coughing a fucking lung up, and you're having a bad time. Versus, you know, one hundred percent. It's a big difference. My, my, my it's a big difference. Side now. So, <laughs> oh, when did you stop smoking bongs? How long has it been? Um, I mean, probably years, really. Like over five. More, yeah. Like, okay. yeah. Like I smoked bongs. Wow. I didn't really. I never honestly wow. really was a bong person. I was more of like a. Uh, I smoked like Swisher sweets, and then I got into joints after. Let's go. What so like what kind of Swishers? Just regular ones. Classic. Oh yeah, my yeah. god! No, you don't even do like grape or anything. Like, nah, I, that, ru- that ruins the weed. Right. Hey, hey, hey! That ruins See, the weed. Grape is crazy as fuck. <laughs> the suburbs, oh, what? The suburbs. Grape? You're a socio. No, you. The trenches of OC. Nah. <laughs> I'm not from OC. <laughs> Let me throw diamonds out. Diamonds are the only valid squish. I've never heard of that's that. a silver one. Yeah, you've never heard of a swisher diamond. I've never, I've never heard of this. You only you you get the grape ones like when you get. I mean, this? I smoke brothers. Um, well, no, I, yeah, but I'm saying that's that's brothers. like actual tobacco. during the time yeah. in your life where you were getting swish. Those were the thing. Oh, grapes. Yeah, see, like the grape grapes is such and a, peach optimos. Oh, oh optimos oh. go crazy. I optimos are fire, optimos. but like the grapes are so overpowered with flavor, flavor, it's disgusting. Unless I was smoking garbage. 
Then, I mean, dude, I haven't we, split we a blood on my fingers different time in years. Frames, though. When's the last time you split a blood over your fingers? True, true. I want to do like true. right now. Like, yes. we, we were, I was, I was <laughs> no, now that I think about it, you're right. So yeah, Just to see if I could do it. Based it on the huge. time, the flavor's needed, yeah. I mean, dude, grape yeah. was so cool. Yeah. Like, this wasn't, like, kind of dope. Like, you gave me a grape blunt. Yeah. Stop <laughs> it. Like, I could taste the sweetness on it. I was so excited. Goblin, when's um, the last time you split a blunt down the middle? Like, with your fingers. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> it's been... Oh, years. Years, it's for been sure. Years. Right? It's How been, like, at least two, three. Sweet. What, what really? were you smoking? You smoked a Swisher recently? That's gross. Triple Indy. <laughs> <laughs> I was smoking Woogity from Blueprint, so I was <laughs> throwing Zod in the uh, So I was in Hawaii. I forgot my brothers, and okay. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. needed backup, sure. so I bought a bunch of brother. I bought a bunch of backwoods, and I bought a bunch of Swishers. And the way I did it was, if I had a bunch of time, I'd roll a backwood. If I had ten minutes, I'd roll a Swisher. That makes sense. I like that. Um, Swishers just, are so easy. They're just so easy, and you they're can so you can easy. rip that thing down so quick. Split it in mm. two seconds. Just roll it up. Yeah, roll it just, back. You're done. You're good. Yeah. So like, smoked, it was just an efficiency thing. I've smoked so many Swishers. I for sure know. Like I could always. It's like riding a bicycle. You could just Dude, always. Dude, yeah, I can. I will be able to roll like, a Swisher forever. Like, easy. It's it's brain dead. Almost. It was harder for me than I thought it was going to be. Really? Um, just because I'm, I've been rolling such big blunts for so many years. You lost like, the spark a little bit. Having to just, you know, I overfilled it the first time and there's just like weed all over the ground <laughs> everywhere. Like I was just like, like, I'm not doing this right at all. I like, mm -hmm. I squeezed it too tight. It didn't really smoke the first round, but like I got it back. I was good. Um, yeah, it's hard. I don't realize that, you know, you get old and you're, your hands don't work like they used to. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little harder. It just, <laughs> you think, you know, the skills just change. You realize Ooh. that, like, you only have so much space up there. Mm -hmm. so what are you like, specialized in? What does a Barney specialize in? Oh, yeah, say? what are your specs? I mean, if we're talking <laughs> about skill smoking. Tree. Yeah, oh. what's your skill tree? What do you, like, put in most credits towards? Oh, bong rips for sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay nice, elite nice. bong smoker. Hell uh, yeah. So even, maxed out bong. Even with bad lungs as an old man, still elite bong smoker. Um, nice. Second, I would say I'm pretty handy with a backwood. Okay. Um, just because I've rolled a ton of backwoods. Yeah. Nice. And last but not least, I light up a Brothers Broadleaf in a Juicy J roller. Nice. Oh, oh. Backwoods is a special skill because there's always fucking stems or a little thing. Yes. Like you yes. got to have a special Backwoods got problems. So like, yeah. My technique for backwoods is also very different than everybody else's because I can't roll them straight how I would roll a Brothers. Interesting. Mm -hmm. It has to look like a turkey leg. Mm. Okay. It's like this cone looking. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I know. No, I, I, I know what you're rolling like that. Yeah. I know. I, I feel that. They, they do exactly, turn into cones. I know exactly you what you're talking really about. Like, yeah, I just it's a turkey leg looking. No, thing. I I get that actually. I like, get that. Like this is when do did this? This is this is pretty turkey leg ish. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's, it's not cool. there all the way. A little it's, girthier than that. Yeah, but it it, it like right. yeah, mine would not be. Mm -hmm. mm -mm, that's not that's mm -hmm. comfortable. Please, yeah, let's mm -hmm. not do that again. <laughs> That's a log right there. How much are you putting in a blunt? What's your what's your minimum amount that you're putting in, like a backwood or a brother's mm. broad? Oh, three there? grams. Three. Three. Um, I always Big seem to boy. be at the same number. Um, there's just a nug left over for three or four bong rips after I roll a blunt. Whoa. Oh, out of the eighth. Yeah. Okay. And it's perfect. Um, that is perfect. Take a couple bong rips while I'm rolling the blunt. Then I walk out and smoke the blunt, throw away the jar. Done deal. Done. Um, yeah, when I'm traveling, the blunts get really big. <laughs> what um, is it about the travels? I don't have a bong. Oh, uh, you gotta finish you gotta the weed. Stuff that you other point five you in there. You gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm I'm smoking six, eight gram blunts. Why don't you bring like a travel bong? Um, I've learned you can only bring so many carry on items, and with a baby, mm. um, my son okay. outranks my bong now. Does your baby count as a carry on item? He doesn't anymore. <laughs> yeah. You could probably what do you mean he like anymore? baby. He's too big now. At two years old, he's got to buy a seat, um, which is happening soon. What? You have to have your own seated too. You How do you feel about Southwest giving a little larger people? A free I gave my seat, opinion on this, Barney. Do you know about this? No. <laughs> oh. So, bro, they gave, they're giving fucking uh, if you if you super fat and you put the fucking <laughs> hey, seat. over overweight. Hey, nah, fuck you're that. Larger. No, nah, larger. Nah, 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 nah. If you're super fat, <laughs> what did we talk about? If last you're episode? super fat, they give you a free extra seat when you book, dog. So you won't be fucking. But they don't the give. They, but, yeah, but they're so not going to give the the fucking. They're not going to give the person. kid the extra seat for free. 
Okay. They're they going to still charge you for your extra <laughs> luggage. Okay. I thought okay. we were worried about a weight All thing. Right. What are we doing here? It's only if <laughs> what are we doing? They here? have open seats on the flight, and you don't get it when you book. Fucking trash. You get it like when it's you're at the policy. gate if there's open seats and you're super fat. Like you pull up and they're like, yeah, he's fat as shit. Oh, so they are super fat. You he's agree. You agree. <laughs> 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 Objectively, people are fat. Like there's no denying that. It's, it's okay. They're obese. They're obese. Sensitive. Yeah. Is there a limit? You have to be sensitive. Super, have to be sensitive. super obese. I don't have to be <laughs> fucking sensitive. No, you. They need to go to the gym. What okay, the fuck? so first let's talk about why they need their it. health, man. You know, most Americans okay, are obese. They're, they're not, they're <laughs> that's, a, that's a bad stat. We gotta fix that, bro. That's bad. That. It, bro. That's we need to don't. fix that shit, dude. That's Although terrible. I am fatter than I've ever been, so I'm not sure if I should really be. I like the how that shit's terrible. Fast. We're about to have a French fry taste test. It's right terrible. Yeah. That we're about to yeah. eat French fries. I should not be eating these fucking French fries. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. It's fucking fast food bullshit, dude. No, it's good for you. It's a potato. I'm on bro. a carnivore diet. I'm eating meat. <laughs> so they're not doing this for the fat person. What? Who are they doing it for? They're doing it for the person who has to sit next. Yeah. To yeah. And I get it's it because, still listen, fucking ass. I've been next what? to some big motherfuckers on my flight. I, mean, I was flying out here a lot. I used to fly a lot more than I do now. Um, and there hey, was people one time in particular I flew. It was Southwest, actually. And hey. um, it was like the last person on the flight. He came and I had the whole road to myself and I just saw her. And I knew. <laughs> you knew. <laughs> and it was this girl and her man. And she was a big woman. And for some reason, she sat in the middle and he took window. And I don't know why he didn't give her window. And like he sat next to me. We could have worked something out. He the situation was, you know, is bad. A thinner dude. But like it was bad. And she was overflowing in my seat. And I had to literally like I couldn't sit properly the whole flight. I had to sit there with like my Was legs. it unsafe? <laughs> yes. It was bro, unsafe, dude, right? Dude, could listen, you seat belt in properly? He did it. I wrong. could I was buckled up and I had to like scoot all the way over and like did you, know? did you did you do one of these? Barney said you did, you it, did wrong. it wrong. Did well, you hit the How button? did I do it wrong? You did it wrong. How? Okay, so first and foremost, I'm from Hawaii where the people come fairly full sized. Okay. Um, we have some larger people in where I'm from. A fact. Um, this is so a fact. I've, I've dealt with this more than once. Mm -hmm. And I've learned that if you are trying to create your own space, right? Uh -huh. In your chair, you're doing it wrong. What you need to do is lean into the pillow. See, oh. yes, that's what I thought. I was like, yo, get up in that. It's that's a, warm. It's squishy. It's, soft. it's squishy. It's like fucking memory like foam, dog. Judge you. No. Memory like, foam. We're in this together. Memory foam that and shit. And that's what they're providing is comfort no, and warmth. No, I don't now if you're in, now, now imagine this. You're in the lane, middle dude. and there's two big people on each side. I like Ooh, a little thing, sandwich. I've like gone that. to sleep like that before. Oh. I mean, I'm, I'm not asking you to, I have. you know. I've fallen asleep like that. I'm just asking you to, you know. Enjoy the seat together. Barney, have you ever fallen asleep between two big people on a plane? I have. Between? Yeah. Oh, they, I had no choice. I was getting smushed. I just, I was like, I'm going to die or sleep. So <laughs> we'll see if I wake up. Was you ever start cuddling them? You the fuck, it was warm. I slept the whole floor. Were you sweating? Wow. No. Like, I was chilling. Sweating. I was chilling. They didn't even bother me. I'm, I, I woke up on fucking. How big person. though? How big are we talking? All like, like maxed out. <laughs> Like 500 pounds. Could it get no, any bigger? No, no. That's what? max out. That's max out. Did you, like, did you need the seatbelt extender? Whoa. I don't even know. I didn't see a seatbelt. Yeah, there's no way. Because the flap was covering. <laughs> so I don't know. They might have had an extender. Who knows? <laughs> All I know is they were definitely... You know You know when it, they, they, they're they coming into your seat, right? That's... I what? <laughs> they're not, just, not like coming, you sick freak. You sick freak. Like their stomach is like going into their seat, dude. That's yep. when it, that's that was what was happening. Both sides. It was, you're getting hugged. Oh, yeah. you're getting but hugged. It's a nice hug. But it doesn't feel bad. If you lean into it mentally, it's not that bad. It's, it's yeah, you're getting, and honestly, it might be safer if, the, if anything crash or anything yeah, like yeah. that. They're nicer people too, I feel like. Great people. Yeah, yeah. Great. It's not like they're fucking mean. Just, they're, they're, I love the category all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. They're nice dude. people. <laughs> what, what? They are. Okay, what, hey, they're not a category. Wait, 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 wait. people this whole time. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> true. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's all we've been doing right now. <laughs> All right. Wait, speaking of planes, though, you saw the shit on uh, the Alaskan Airlines? Oh, fuck. Y'all know I hate flying. It's we just flew something. Alaskan. You guys know I hate Ugh. flying. And we were just on the Alaskan's same... Owned by like we were just on the same Alaskan? fucking fl like plane. Not the exact same plane, whatever, but this the same type of same plane. Same model and that Alaskan. Got, and they just got uh, grounded. So this plane doesn't even fly anymore. And I remember you telling me, oh, Tim, this is a new plane. 
It's safe. Brand new. I remember you telling me this shit. <laughs> you motherfucker. You said, oh, this is a brand trying, new plane. You were trying to calm me down and shit because I hate flying. Yeah, I have anxiety well, about it. I hate it too. So I was trying to calm no, no, you, down. I was like, oh, it's new. Dude, you were like, it's a we're brand good. new plane. <laughs> These planes aren't allowed to fly anymore because their fucking door yeah, popped <laughs> off. Whoa, whoa. What the fuck, bro? Dude. And then they, they, they searched them. They found four other planes that had loose bolts on the same fucking thing. Dude, the same door. Alaskan just bought Hawaiian Airlines. We're gonna die. All this is this is this is just the future. Listen, Whoa, start flying Alaskan American, bro. They yeah. fly slightly. Now American what's nuts American. too is uh my uh, my wife's aunt. She came over. She's a flight attendant, and she she a flight attendant for Alaska. Not on the flight, but she had a few people that were on that flight on on another flight with her. And they were fucking dramatized, bro. <laughs> They were freaked the fuck. Like they had to take another flight after that, you know, to like mm -hmm. get back to their fucking dude. place because they landed like emergency landing shit freaked out dude people were panicking on there like literally having fucking like trauma experiences like i don't know if i'd be able to fly again yeah i'd probably just rent a car and road trip. you get and, sucked and out or what no happens. the people the people missed their flight that were sitting in that row oh i heard that is that true yeah, that's that yeah. is true that's a fact the, God the said not open. today. It's like some 9-11 shit. I always hear yo, that. You that's crazy. Yo, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo. Is that a conspiracy? Oh. But, the, but the closest person to it, the little kid got their shirt ripped off, which is crazy. <laughs> yeah. That shit's crazy, bro. And it's oh, like, Jesus. Yeah, wait, it was just like. That shit's crazy. Can you Jesus imagine you just get your clothes ripped off while you're there? <laughs> you're just like, boom. <laughs> Maybe he was just like, fuck it. You know, it was like a I'd be, kid. Like, yeah. I'd be <laughs> crying, bro. I'd be crying my little ass off, dude. I'd be freaked out. Damn, dude. I don't think the seatbelt saved him. I'd be smoking weed right <laughs> like away. Just the little seatbelt. Oh he was like, "Can you imagine if you didn't have your seatbelt? Yeah. Can you imagine? Can you imagine you didn't have your seatbelt? He's just like, nah, that shit's scary though. Fuck bed. that. I oh, hate flying. I mean, okay, I'm I'm not a conspiracy guy. Uh -huh. Ooh, but conspiracy inbound. You're telling me the one row. The, the one bro. That's what I dude. My tin <laughs> my tinfoil hat came out so fast. I put that shit on. I said, hold no. on a second. Instantly. What the fuck? Instantly. I I'm was like, like come on, bro. You're telling me that they just missed their flight? No like, way. Nah, that's not how that works. Crazy. This is planned out. There was this no is, one sitting this there. This was planned, yeah. Yeah, like I don't know how this like makes sense to the whole giant or strategy. Like, no one asks for the free row. I do that sometimes. I'm like, can I sit there? Like no one's in there. You know? Oh, and then like, you're just no dead? Bye, yeah. yeah. Eric. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> no. oh hey, you my. get the free row, you're not buckling oh, up either. You're no, you're, you're you're like laying <laughs> down chilling. Hear me out. <laughs> what? Like, yeah. Airplane oh, manufacturer. You think you'd wake up? Or like you just like pass out in the air? Fuck, I don't know. I don't know. Fucking book the tickets. But like, right? wake up like flying like, in the air. Door. Like, I think you'd pass out again. Plane right? takes off. <laughs> door flies off. They ground them. They inspect all the other ones, right? There was an article that came out. They inspected the other ones. They found five more doors. Yep. That were like prone to that happening. Right? Prone to it. Now all the planes are grounded. Boeing's fucked. The orders that they have for future ones are probably stopped, right? A lot of people are going to like cancel those. They're going to halt production for a while. You're going to lose a lot of money. Could have been a competitor. Okay, just what are they trying to hide from us? What are they trying to distract us from? Conspiracy. He was talking Airbus earlier. I think Gobby's on the inside of this. I think Gobby hates yeah, Boeing. Then, I think he's actually doing this. I think yeah, he's Gobby's the guy. The he's guy. the fucking guy. He moved to LA. <laughs> he's the one that's at like the central dish. He's on the so, like, payroll. I know a few people. I know a few guys. <laughs> I've seen him turn a wrench. This is possible. I've gone to a few parties. Nah, but it's I'm crazy though, man. I've been to a few parties. <laughs> Dude. Thank God it didn't happen later, I guess. What did it say? It blew out mid air. The aircraft reached approximately 15,000 feet about six minutes into the flight. Before Got me beginning fucked its up. Descent. Got At least they were up. early into it. 15. Yeah, it would have happened an hour. Like it, People would have definitely gotten sucked out, huh? Well, like, you you would have been at 36,000 feet. Yeah, instead, the normal fucking flying dick. They were only at half. Are you, yeah, you're allowed to use your phone at 16,000 or is that like no, your phone that's still? allowed oh, to use your phone? I think that's I use, before the little. You use your phone the yeah, whole time. Who, 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 I'm sorry. Who doesn't screen. use their phone? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what yeah. the fuck? <laughs> hey, you're going to crash the plane, <laughs> bro. No. You're no, the really reason cool. the plane's crashing and shit. No. This guy's on his phone making phone calls. <laughs> 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 I'm on my laptop and shit. Put your big laptop out. Downloading files. Is there a bull poke? Oh, fuck. There is indeed. Now, but that's crazy. I'll pass you both. No way, only one asteroid. I just can't believe we were on the same exact model of plane. We were on the Max? I can't believe the Gobby Lock. No, it's not the Max. It's not, I don't think it's the I've Max that happened. It, is it? Yeah, whatever that plane was. That shit sucked. I've been preaching. Listen, look at the type of plane when you book the ticket. Look for an Airbus. Facts. Look for a, um, Embraer, the smaller ones. If it's a Boeing. Just book another flight. Unless it's a 737. 
How fucking not? Spook- yeah, that's a trust. None of the maxes. <laughs> trust just a this basic a ass 737, you know? What about the 5.7? Seven? That one's not, that's too thick. 7.5.7. Seven, seven. That one's Maybe. thicker. You know what's like, scary, too, is those two-story planes. Airbus is reliable. <laughs> they have a, a couple of planes that have no fatal accident. Sometimes they don't got the plugs, though. Plug. Airbus <laughs> always has the plugs. <laughs> 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 I'm investing. What's in your Airbus. favorite airline? What's your favorite airline, Gabby? Um, I fly whatever's got the best rate. Uh, yeah, out of Chicago dude. though. Respect. Here's the thing: Chicago, we don't got Delta. Mm. Um, they don't they don't fly out of Chicago at all. We don't have Alaska. Weird. Um, Alaska's really only a West Coast thing. I think so. I think I, I don't see that anywhere else. Um, so I was flying either American or United all the time. Uh, United's pretty chill. Like they're just known for like beating up that one dude on the plane, you know. So they, <laughs> oh yeah, when they tied him. Remember, up. yeah. So they <laughs> lost a bunch of reps, so they started offering <laughs> deals. So their tickets are Ooh. cheap, but it doesn't really feel like a cheap airline. Nice, that's true. Like, you fly Spirit. Uh, sometimes it's not that I will bad, say, right? bro, you get the rough. big front seat. The big bro, frenzies are lit. They're like another the fifty bucks or hundred bucks. Lit, bro. Nice. It's like You're bucks. like, what's up, first class bitch? <laughs> yep. Yep. Spirit first class. Yo, baby. yo toss me those Q tips right there. Oh <laughs> yes. Oh yes. Yeah, nice. if I fly Spirit, I'm getting the big front ones. I've done the regular seats a couple times out of like necessity. <laughs> he just started gra- he just started grabbing Q tips. So, I was like confused. I was like, right, I was like Am I Should fucking I grab ears one? dirty? Yeah. What am I doing? Q one is effective. D1, what is, so what is that? Is that, uh, is that a strain? It is. Who's it's, that from? Uh, Green Dog. weed from you. So Green Dog, okay. Is D1, what, what, is it any similar to the fucking RS11 that I love? Is it um, grown by <laughs> the same people. Okay. Um, so that part. What's, nice. the, what's the genetic wise like of D1? Um, what is this that? is a Sour Dub Face on Fire OG cross. Face on, face on Fire. fire. Um, I believe <laughs> I did that right, which is historically OG. not something I do. Oh, um, so it's, it's an OG. Yeah, and like that Sour Dub gives it. Can I see it? Something spectacular as well. Oh. Let me see that bad boy. Oh, it's not even Take cracked. Oh, it's cracked. It's cracked. I feel like you smell a lot. Oh, it's not cracked. Oh, yeah. Crack it, dog. Oh. It's oh. fucking yeah. sealed. Yeah. All right, sealed oh. jar over here. D one sealed. Oh, fresh. I feel like D1. the sour dub comes through with the smell. Crazy. It's, oh, it's, it's sour as shit. They're gonna. Tegan's gonna kill me Super for this. Super sour. I think it gets better as wow. it ages a little bit. Damn. Oh. Okay, like a Dude. fine wine. All right, I'm glad you said that. I found one that was like four months old. It smelled crazy oh, as dang, fuck. No. <laughs> it smelled insane. And like, I found it's one like a wine. in like the back of my car, nice. dried out in the bag, kind of like almost so powdery sour-y. and beaten up. Mm-hmm. Yo, it was fucking smoking. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's still curing. And it's you just, know? it's rare because right now most weed goes bad after three weeks to three months. Yep, true. Um, it goes bad. What do you mean by goes bad? Well, and not goes bad, but like you'll get a lot of color change. Um, well, like oxidize, it, o- yeah, oxidize. oxidize. So like is people, that is that because people don't store it right, or or like is that just the, the way it's grown? Like what's going on there? It's a little bit of both. Like I I'm not a grower, so I can't speak too much on this part. But okay. I do think that you know a lot of the new LED weed doesn't have the same shelf life old HPS weed had. Oh, um, interesting. interesting. I think. Oh, mind fuck right there. I think the medium <laughs> that it's grown under also can sometimes impact how long the shelf life lasts. Soil, cocoa, whatever it is. Yep, rock yep. wool, all that stuff. Okay. Um, and I'm going to absolutely get just cooked for this, but like oh. that's my belief structure. Oh, shit. Like that's what I think. But then what, um, what about the user and where there may be like. Or, or is I will it, say there's definitely, I feel like there's definitely like great ways to store weed. Yeah, like, like those new Myron jars, like the, like oh, the yeah. UV blocking ones. Like, oh, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like if you just have it in a jar yeah, you can store and, weed. and you have it like in your room where there's lights and shit, is that a user air where they're fucking their weed up so it's going bad faster than... For sure. Also like the idea that the, the temperature is going to change, right? Everybody's mm-hmm. like, well, it's it, it never gets hotter than 90 degrees. I was like, but if it's going from 30 to 70, 30 to 70, that's, that's not great either. 40 so should you get a temperature controlled cabinet? Put your weed in. I think just a dark place hidden from the sun. Mm. Sent like a pantry type. Yeah, like I use same place you would hide. You would put. I have a. I have a like a drawer. I use a Yeti in my garage, but not with like ice or anything in it. No, just a nice cooler with insulated cooler. Yep, keeps temperature good. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't fluctuate. Doesn't fluctuate. Um, got the weed fridge. I do also have a fridge for terps. (laughs) Um, That's true. I do Um, as well. Actually, it's essential. I feel. Yeah, yeah. It. I think it's a it's a it's a first world thing, you know. I get a fridge in my garage, so I get a separate fridge just for my weed. The luxury item for sure. But if Beyond. you can have it, it's nice. It's amazing. Yes. 
Oh, I mean, it, my wife stopped yelling about the smell of all of the food in the fridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> having the, the turps in the fridge with the food, with the baby stuff, you yeah, know. Yeah, you know, it, didn't, you know. it didn't go over well. Nah. Um, so Damn then it. I got my own fridge and that solved all those problems. Nice. Turp fridge. You got a fancy fridge, Tim? I, I did not. Last time. Nah, I haven't. I have no, well, yeah, we have the new white fridge. Remember, like we discussed. Oh, this? oh yes, yeah. Yes. You got a yes. what color is your fridge? I have one of those like silver. Ooh, fancy, oh, wait, water in the door, fancy. Um, Silver's the new white. I have water on the inside because I don't like the water. Okay, on the but, outside you have, but you have the water thing yes. in there. Okay, oh, yeah, see, so, yeah, so, so you got your. This is so yeah, fancy. He up. even chose to put it on the inside. So I just for have silver purposes. Up. This fancy. Oh no! If, you, if you're asking if I bought a fancy fridge, I'm Korean. Yes, I have a Did, fancy is fridge. Your, are you, is it a smart mm-hmm. fridge? I have an LG. Like, is it a smart oh, fridge? Oh, an LG fridge. Does it have if you're wondering if I'm making bar. that face, it's because my in-laws like me more now. My bad. Nice. Does it have a screen? Stepping like oh, no. If I, didn't, if I bought a Samsung, they would think I wasn't doing okay at work. Oh. If I didn't buy Samsung or LG, they'd think, like, you know, I'm not okay. Like, we need to worry about the family. So, Samsung is considered lower tier over there? It is now. Samsung has sort of dropped down in the appliance view. Uh, wow. wow. They're focused on phones and shit, I guess. Yeah, like, the, the higher level Bastards. technology is what I've been told. So LG yeah. is fire. LG's LG, fire. I have monitors from that, but that's all um, I have. And a TV. Ooh. ooh. Very good. I got, like, an extra six cubic feet in my fridge because I got this LG fridge. Damn. Damn. That's, a, that's um, a goddamn... Cubic foot that's some dad talk you know right the there. That's Yo, some dad talk. I don't even know. I'm, uh, <laughs> it made me excited. When you said six, <laughs> yeah, six I, got, I got perked up. Holy so shit. what are we talking here? This is, Where are we going? Uh, if you don't know about cubic feet in your fridge, how do you know how much food you can store? We're going to Home Depot? Back. Where are we, where are we headed around now? <laughs> well, what's your fridge looking like? Is it full? Gabby? Uh, yeah, I got food in there. You know, Mad leftovers. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I got a lot of leftovers, but I also got like fruit. You know, I got fruit. the oranges and shit. Fruit's crucial, man. Are you you got that little oranges fruit. in a fridge? You got that little fruit okay, section? I, little I put them in the fridge. That you can, I don't like, know. change the temperature of. Oh, yeah, there's all like the different zones. What? There's a pull-out drawer. Uh, um, it's crazy, a whole thing. Man. I'm very excited about it, if you can't tell. Um, Dude. I've been able to buy nicer things than I've ever been able to have in my whole life. Because, you nice. know, working and growing up and such and like. I'm not going to lie. I was really excited to get a nice fridge. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get a nice washer and dryer at some point. Whoa. You can expect an entire Instagram reel about my washer and dryer when I Fuck get it. Fuck yeah. Nice, it's going nice. to be. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Where, where, what is your Instagram so people can go over oh. there and look forward to it? It is uh, Barney has the blueprint. Ah, Barney, Barney has, has the, the blueprint. blueprint. There it you is. Know, I work for a company called Blueprint. Hey. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I have the blueprint to a few things in my head because I'm a weirdo. Mm-hmm. How I long like have you been it. with Blueprint at this point? How long have you been with Blueprint at this point? Almost two years. Dang. Nice. Uh, What's your longest stint with a cannabis brand? <laughs> 21 years? <laughs> yeah, because I'm still with Mota. Um, oh. I'm still with like my original friends I started my first dispensary with. And yeah. We did our glass company with. Like, Shit. Um, wow. That's I still commitment. work with those guys. So I'm not there full time. I'm not really active, but like. I was on the phone with them earlier today. So, You're like, involved. you know, we're still, we still have conversations. Yeah. They sell green dogs. So, shout out to wow. that. But they sell blueprint. They got turtle pie. Dang. Yeah, that part's weird. Um, I, gra- <laughs> I, I started smoking weed in 1996. Fuck. I wasn't alive. Big throwback. That's weird. I wasn't alive either. Yeah. I wasn't alive. <laughs> yeah. Which is just such a strange thought alive, process. Yeah. And, like, yeah. I don't think I'm old. And then I say <laughs> shit like that. And. <laughs> I'm you're not smoke old, now. Man. There's levels to it. You know, you're not old, you're wise. I'm smoking with you, Barney. Let's you're go. wiser. Oh, oh, I'll take that. You're just grown mm. wiser. Mm. And you even got yourself a little tree cycler right here, man. I remember when you called me, and then I saw this like the fucking couple hours after you posted it. <laughs> Did you send me a picture? I don't know. Thank God. Actually, you answered the phone. You helped me pick out which bong I was going to get. That was crazy, man. You're like, I'm at a saw. That's talk. a heater. Like, what? Why am I not there? You're like, how did I not know? Yeah. This? What the fuck? First soft drop ever. Whoa. <laughs> wow. And you got one of the top picks, huh? Got the number two choice. Number two. Um, the first kid went in and just, you know, dropped like 600 bucks on a normal tube. Wow. So I got pick of the litter. Holy Why shit. Why is it like, I feel like everyone here's luck at soft drops. It's just been pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. We've been running it. Damn, son. It's so- been pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, and I didn't really understand the soft thing. 
I actually was planning on selling this or giving it to him at some point because I knew he loved it so much. Mm -hmm. And then I smoked out of it. Oof. And I ain't giving away shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. <he's> yeah. <laughs> Not today. Yeah, that's a really special piece. That that's, is an insane one right It does there, hit different. Like, once you once you take a big rip out of it, you kind of understand. You know, you're like, oh, wow. It's heavy. I it's, mean, they're, it's, yep. They're, like, you, it gives you a lot of confidence that you shouldn't have. Oh. Um, like, you take like a that. fat bong rip, you exhale it, you think you're doing okay. And that moment right now where I realized, I was like, yo, I can't remember what I just said. <laughs> and you're like, oh, shit. Okay. I went a little higher than I thought I was. <laughs> but then the D1 kicks in and the confidence comes back and I want to smoke more. D1. And I'll black out again momentarily and then come back and round again. And yeah. Solve problems. But that's why I'm a bong guy, not a joint person. Mm. Um, I think joints are a massive waste of weed. Ooh. I, I kind of Whoa, what I take. What Hosefo, I take. Hosefo crazy, literally man. cleared his fucking throat That's over there. Insane. Hosefo literally I've heard. Sick. <laughs> that was amazing. I, honestly, I get where you're coming from, though. I'm a big bong guy nowadays. I don't smoke joints when I'm like on my own. I mm -hmm. only really smoke them socially, uh, and I think that let's like that's the only scenario where they're kind of not wasted. If you're facing it, people are enjoying it. And, and I also, like, if you're smoking for enjoyment mm -hmm. and that's the way you enjoy it most, mm -hmm. I totally understand. Yeah, it doesn't joints. matter how you smoke. No, but a bong you know? is obviously the most efficient way to consume Effective fucking flour. Perhaps, yeah, know? I'd say so. Maybe maybe a vaporizer for some people. Yeah, people can argue be more vaporizers. Effect effective, but for the majority, I think everyone can agree a bong is going to get you the most fucking high. Mm -hmm. If you have a gram of weed and you need to fucking make it work, you're not rolling one bongs. joint. You're fucking ripping bongs, right? Mm -hmm. Like, that's. Every, 10 out of 10 stoners would agree with that. And you can pack a, a little shooter bowl in there. That's what you have get to do. A big rip. little snappy, yep. fucking mm -hmm. just lightly pull on that thing until it goes completely white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just so slowly. In there. You'll be <laughs> cooked. You'll be fucking cooked, bro. After Milking two snaps, it's dude. You can make that gram last a couple days if you had to. Whoa, but if you had, whoa, if, whoa, if you had, whoa. no, like if you had one <laughs> joint though, it's done and. 10 minutes. Yes, Yo, you're right. You don't even have a choice. Thanks. You have no choice to making it last. Like, you have no couple choice. days, I'm going to be like, if someone told I'm you you had to have a gram of weed last year a week, Oof. okay, I'm and you were in a, a foreign station. country, but like I would for sure smoke it in tiny little bong rips. Oh, little yeah. I would take probably, way, yeah. I'd probably take yeah, one or two bong rips tonight. I cut it into seven pieces. So and point, I would, point oh four going yeah, in the bong. Just, <laughs> I'd be taking I'd be taking a little like bong a hit addict, once a once razor. a night, maybe <laughs> twice a night, and it would it would get you fucking ripped. Yeah. Okay. Get I'm, you ripped, I'm gonna let out some of my uh, oldest tech in the world, actually, right oh, now. Oh okay. shit! Here we go. Here we go. This is my. This, I don't think I've ever seen anyone else do this. Okay. Um, and I think it works really well. Holy mm -hmm. shit! Um, but I tickets. used to cut up my weed with a razor blade, like it was coke. Whoa! That is the most degen shit I've ever heard in my phone. Oh, would you like? What? Slice How long it or ago scrape was this? it? Like, when you wait, slice it or scrape what? it? Like, if what? You you get, like, I won't lie. I've done it at least within the last 30 days. <laughs> oh. What? What the fuck? Oh, are because, you slicing it or scraping it? Like, so, <laughs> like cutting it up? This is the most random. random. Yeah, are you cutting weed? it? Hold on, let me grab some weed real quick. This is, do you have a razor oh, blade in your pocket right now? I don't. Now? Oh, oh my God. I can at least give you a general idea of what we're talking about here. This is the most random way to fucking grind weed. It works great. Have you ever heard this, Gabby? No. What the fuck, okay. right? So this is your nog, right? Cool. Mm -hmm. And you put it down on the table, but I chop it this way. Horizontally? So Horizontally. So like you're you seeing like it? within the core of it, like almost like how you would chop down a tree. Oh, huh? so you can get like the core, like where they like count the rings? Where you can count the rings. Ah, that's fucking okay. weird, bro. So what then the when you fuck? shove it in Yo, the bowl. Yo, you're tripping. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it gets crazier than this. Hold on. He's so when you put it into the bowl, <laughs> all of that airflow that naturally comes through is how I, like, in my head, Yo, I fuck was like, I'm going to pull the heat through the natural airflow channels that were built. Whoa. So I was cutting nugs like, so that way I could, like, plug it straight into the bowl <laughs> without yeah, you, so having you, to rebreak. So you were smoking, like, slices. <laughs> so I, st I still do. So you, so you smoke a slice of weed? I do. That do is the gnarliest wow. thing I've ever heard in my life. I've never heard this before. I've never heard it before. <laughs> Whoa. I don't think anyone else in the world has ever done this. <laughs> There's Dude. no way. There's got to be at least one. There has to be else. <laughs> this is so random. Out there. You cut your weed with razor blades, right? 
Some people cut it with scissors. Me. Scissors, I've, maybe. I've cut, I've cut up weed with scissors. Scissors don't work a, the same way. Scissors in a cup, and I, when scissors I have a grinder. No, that's ghetto. Right. That doesn't work. No, but that's I've done crazy. that to roll a joint. When me I, when too. I, I yeah, do I've a tiny that. little cup for you go to the... <clears throat> yeah, that works. I got that. I have the whole tech for it. It like works. Yourself. It works. Oh, it works. You remember the scene in, like, uh, what is it, Goodfellas, where they're in jail and they're cutting the little, like, onion up yep. for the for the stew? Is that, like, you cutting the wood? Like, slice it thin. Slice it thin. It's... It works, okay? <laughs> it works. We're going to have to wow. try this one day. <laughs> I'm mad I don't have a razor blade on Seems me. Seems a little easier, I, would, I guess. Fuck, dude. About it. Like, it, works it works really, really well. You just chop up like seven things. You got seven bombers. Just lay them out. Bam, 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 bam. What <laughs> in the world? That's insane. And now that you see it, you're like, this actually makes a little bit of sense. No, but I, what about I mean, the nug shape? Like, yo, this makes sense on this nug for sure. I don't doubt that <laughs> But there's some works. girthy nugs for no reason. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so if it's girthy, you're right. What do you do? Which way are you going if it's chode? Oh, I'm just chopping half and half. Oh, wait, 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 what? Whoa. So, like, if it was, Split let's say it was choke? double thick, right? Okay. It's disgusting. Yeah. Um, you, you grab it with, you grab it with both hands. first and then go to the other side and then twist. So you, so you work both hands in twist? Yeah. Okay. That's good <laughs> tech. That twister with on the, you on the chode. Mean? Both hands twist on the chode. After the 3,000. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta get it correct. Get it Firm twist? Firm twist. Oh, someone has a knife? I mean, dude, I'm down. Oh, oh what God. are we doing? Whoa. I feel like this episode just got a little sus. <laughs> if we're going to go ghetto, let's cut Cutting the weed, man. Let's cut the weed open. I've smoked a fuck ton of weed, and I've never seen someone do this. I'm no, ghetto. this is I love this. I li- hey, you know what I like is that there's still oh my new God, ways to smoke weed. It slices right through. It's a nice knife. That knife is sharp as fuck. I knew it was. Oh. Okay, hold on. We got to do this. Yeah. There Get we go. Get in position. Get that little bit of... I've the title of this podcast is going to be Old Man Damn. Cuts Weed. <laughs> Look at that. What'd you say? Old Man Hits Cut, Weed? Old Man Cuts Weed. <laughs> <laughs> Ancient smoking technique. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the weirdest shit ever, okay. bro. Okay, so, fuck you guys, but tell me that doesn't look pretty fucking dope. I need to see that. Like, here we go, here we go. Give here's me a your, slice. Here's look, your own little... Give me a slice. <laughs> give me and Gabby a fucking slice. A little Percy here, slice. There's a little slice, though, okay? Are there knives okay. you keep just for weed? Because you can't contaminate it, right? You can't, like... Oh yeah, for sure. Like how, I open up like. What else are you slides? using razor so blades for, Eric? For me, was is I bought a big box of razor blades. Shaving, shaving. No, like I bought them just you like utility it. knives because I had just clean windows. Killing? Wait, what? Hold clean on. windows. That's how you like clean. I thought you said killing knives. No. I was like, so then I Whoa. bought like the big box off fucking Amazon, thinking I was like, well, it's only twelve cents per blade. This is a great idea. Bought like a thousand okay. razor blades. And then blades. I just had them forever. So I was trying to figure out stupid things to do with razor blades at that point. Oh, so there's a recent thing. Okay. No, I mean I probably started it younger, but this is the most logical one that I've <laughs> come up with now. Jesus oh. Christ. He's just he's fabricating a fucking freestyle <laughs> story right now, dude. Yeah. 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 College is none of your business. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. My hobbies in college none of your business but i knew how to work a razor blade to tell you about him i moved from here. hawaii to los angeles okay? how much was the cocaine in hawaii i wouldn't know um i All had right, left hawaii you had some homies you knew like some of you knew <laughs> it's expensive mm-hmm. um i imagine drugs I like in hawaii gotta expensive. be crazy like, yeah expensive. i know you don't know but someone you knew i mean you know somewhere around 100 Slice. bucks a gram is my guess what? that's like la price um you know it's like normal city prices but like there's also levels in la there's you know, I mean, that flava is a different. I don't doesn't know what fit, I'm talking man. about. Doesn't fit. Yeah, what's yeah? Okay, so now let's scrape out this bowl piece. Yeah, oh, look scrape? at you! You just like just <laughs> in there already. Can you scrape mine as well, please? Haters, dude. Haters. So do you I just you, do you just take it. the slice and you just oh, you just, just pop shove it in, it in there? there, dog? Oh, so you don't keep the slice whole? You do. Um, oh. You just like you just shove it in there a little bit, though, <laughs> like at the same angle. So wait, you just I got it. I got to make this. Clean your bowl out, guys. Oh, my bowl is circumference what? a little. With the slice? You just grab no, this thing. No, I just have a fresh bowl. Oh, dude, you better fucking rip thing. that bitch real quick, dude. Stick Get it, it out the way. There. You got a slice, wow. dog. I found a game. Bam, packed bowl. Hold on. Gobby's Gobby's got one bowl. He's got to rip real quick. Hold on a second. Before he can oh. hit a slice. Thank you for the slice, though. I have a. No, what just happened? Do, they, do I have to smoke it fresh, or can I let the slice rest? No, the slice can rest for a moment for sure. Okay. Fresh, fresh slice is usually better. Let it cook. I was trying to get you high. My slice wasn't placed as nicely. Yeah. I was, I was playing with my slice too much. Mm, I hate when um, it happens. It happens. I'm interested in the slice technique. I want, I, I'm slice. interested in seeing how Eric and Goblin like it. So the reason why it's interesting for me is like this is why I was so interested in the Cubist when it first came out was because it's a chop. Okay. So it's a oh, yeah. it's closer it's to blades. the style that I like. If you I just like putting anybody. you like putting big slices of fucking nugs in there, dude. I like it. Speaking of slicing, you think this is the uh, year of Piatella? 
Are you no. Do you think it's a little overrated? <laughs> <laughs> no. What are your so thoughts wait, on Piatella, you just my friend? put the friend? slice in and smoke it? Yeah, here, you want me to place your slice for sure, you? Sure, yeah, yeah. Place the oh, slice. Oh, that was excellent. No, no, see, like right there, just like nice flat yeah. little slice, and you just... Pack it in. Just okay. nice little balanced pack. Look at that. Oh, Did you put it on top of your bowl? No, no, I smoked the bowl. Oh, you're gangster. Let's go. Yeah, and then I packed yeah. my slice. Got okay. the slice ready, man. Dap it up. Dap wow. It up. Mm, the slice actually looks nice. Yeah. The slice nice looks nice. Slice. <laughs> this is a nice slice. All right. <laughs> okay, we're going to we're slicing it up. Everybody. Oh, here we go. First slice rip from Gabby. All right. Okay. Um, you know, the appearance of it, I love the appearance. I'm going to rate the appearance highly. Ooh, okay. okay. We'll take a highly. High rated appearance. Rating the oh, that's a thick top. bowl, too. Jesus Christ. I rate that highly. I rate that highly. Too highly. Having yeah. to break up the weed. Yep. Very you know, low. Very actually, low I get it now. I get it now because that was like just a regular bowl. <laughs> it was just like same amount of smoke. You know, honestly, that was almost more efficient than grinding. You could put grinders like out of business. Just need some razor blades. Slicing weed. Actually, are you gonna I get it now? Are, are you gonna release? Slicer? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like just a little device that you just. I've kept this secret for years. It's like the potato slicer. You, you shouldn't have shown. You, knew, you already knew what I was thinking, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. My Dude, that'd be gas. Sales, I love millions of We're dropping those soon, guys. We we don't. The razor blade industry. <laughs> you owe me a watch, okay? Ooh, that's the expectation. Razor blade conglomerate, hit me up. What's the dream watch? Ooh. What if they're like, all right, we'll send you a watch. Oh. <laughs> um, it's going to be a strange one, but probably the Domino's presidential. Domino's. Domino's. Um, so red and white? Is that why it's going No, be? so they actually have like a custom Domino's logo. Shut up. What? Um, cut into it. <laughs> um, and I worked for Domino's for a long time. How long? And I was really close to getting my Rolex. Because um, there's levels to Rolexes and Domino's, but... The presidential Domino's Rolex is only given to like the franchisees that hit these crazy numbers, but like it's it's an unattainable watch. But for a guy who worked at Domino's for a long time, like I wanted my watch. What? Um, and I they gave give up. you a watch. I gave up my Domino's watch to come back to the weed industry, but like you know, I got a watch. Um, Damn. Shout out Plug and Play. Shout out Peter Tang. Shout out Peter, baby. Let me see this little Domino's action, man. I want to I wanna see it. Oh, is that the one? The, the Domino's Rolex? It's a presidential. Because the presidential is the band, huh? No, so is it's it an actual picture? like face size. See, like they won't even have a picture of it. They just have like these are the normal ones. That's how rare it is? Who, wh which ones are these given to? So this is like the, this is what I would have gotten, but even these are a little older. Uh, because that's like on the face rather than being on the metal working. Whoa. Um, but this is like a GM who hit... 100k sales xyz <laughs> and this kind of growth but like yeah it's literally a custom made rolex it's pretty dope for domino's that's people <laughs> um, that's crazy so like How if you ever go into a domino's and you see someone wearing a rolex you're like you own this store and you are killing it <laughs> wow. damn we gotta open fucking yeah domino's. that right oh. there oh, oh. oh. four okay. bands 4400 wait so, you know, it's a nice watch. But that's like, a, that's the stainless steel. They have like a 24 karat gold yeah, presidential. Yeah, I was about to say, the presidential oh, is gold. Yeah, it's like, it's gaudy and ridiculous. Yeah, silvers aren't presidential. None of these are presidential. They're not um, I'm also like, I'd like an AP because I wear a fake AP. Nice. Um, I wear a How close is it? Cassie Oak. Is um, the fake like kind of close or is it like very It fake? looks close until you look at it and you realize it's a digital G-Shock. <laughs> <laughs> um, and like I've got lights I can squeeze on it. But oh, it goes beep, that's beep. crazy. G-Shocks are chill. G-Shocks are, are chill. Out here, you got to like, if you want a nice watch, you have to buy a fake version of it to wear it. Out. Sure. You oh, know? I mean. Like, I was thinking like if I ever get another nice watch, I'm definitely buying a fucking bullshit version of it. Like wear around. <laughs> Because then I'm, I can wear the fake, but it's like, well, I have. <laughs> I'm on my Apple Watch phase right now. Ooh. Dude. Me fucking too. Ooh, too. Gang. Oh. Me counting, fucking too. Aren't those banned now? Well. Can you not oh, get them anymore? How useful are these oh. bad boys? Everyone gets one and like loves it. I've never had one. I've never. Okay, so I don't love mine. Oh. Um, when I was a grower, <laughs> I really enjoyed it because like my hands were always dirty. So I could at least like tap it and respond to my wife when she was mm. complaining about me not responding to her. Classic. Um. 
right now, it's like, just kind of there. It's just a watch. Um, but like, I'm also not trying to get bipped up for the only nice thing that I've ever owned. So mm-hmm. I don't wear this too often. I wear my Apple watch most of the time. Yep. You got a um, nice little band on there? No, I have that stock green band that it came Ooh. with. <laughs> oh, it's clean. Stock band is decent. Dude. Yeah, for it's sure. It's a nice band. I haven't found one yeah. better. Um, mm-hmm. I, someone yeah. had like a metal band out nah. in the studio. Yeah. Earlier. Fuck it was that. horrible. I got the little track band at like the Oh, nice. Ones. Chill, you know? You got like the ultra one, right? Okay. You have like the big I have the ultra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The two, um, the, how many are levels? there? There's yeah, like eight, right? There's there like is eight. levels. Yeah, there's the regular Apple Watch, and then there's the Ultra, which mm-hmm. is the, it's a bigger screen too, there's right? A bigger it's screen. Fat. It's it's bigger watch, like 49 millimeters. I'm pretty sure they like, discontinued that shit. Mine's pretty big. Or they got they got they I lost a patent. Like, I, love or how I acted like I had mine on. I was gonna be like, oh, yeah. you're like, yeah, mine <laughs> too, right? Mine too. My whole wrist. Um, but it's they're so handy, bro. Like the shit you can talk to it and send a text, fucking GPS with it. It vibrates on your wrist and tells you where to turn. You know, in the direction you're. I've watched. To I've watched myself will pay for lunch faster than I can pull out my phone. Bro, you just hold your wrist yeah. up to shit. It's like Go you're like a spy, like a super spy. <laughs> like my kids, you're walking around just like flick your wrist, paid for that. Flick your wrist, paid for that. You know, like you have all your cards connected. You can have like um, all sorts of shit, dude. All sorts of shit. It's crazy. Anything that you can put on your Apple Wallet, you can have connected to your wrist. So like tickets for stuff. You know, you can have on there all, all sorts of shit. It's crazy. That's fire. That's oh, the crazy, next step. Dude. That's the next phase of technology, huh? Like oh, wear, yes. wearable technology or like oh, yeah. in your eyeglasses and like on your watch. Dude, do you guys see the Apple Vision Pro? Uh, it's it out or out, next month? Uh, they're taking pre-orders <laughs> on the 19th and it comes out February 2nd. 35 hundo. Is that the thing thing? Oh, yeah, the thing thing, bro. <laughs> the dude. The thing. Should we all throw down for one? Yes. <laughs> to share it. That's all. Like, yeah. The studio Apple Vision. You have studio to have gloves Apple on, though. Pool. Like, you know, make. What? Yeah, we got to take oh, care yeah. of it. <laughs> no, keep it clean. Bro, bro. <laughs> let's sweat in that bitch and shit. Let's get it filthy. <laughs> so, bro, <laughs> make our mark. I wonder when they're going to get cheaper. Never. <gasps> they're going to release a version two for 4K. <laughs> and then it's just going to. And, and just all gonna the Apple going. kids are going to show up and buy it's, it. I don't think it's meant to be like a, you know, average consumer. Is that on product. the Apple website? Yeah, it's meant boy. to be like productivity, you know, like the San Francisco, like Bay Area tech motherfuckers who are like these tech you know. geeks, huh? Look at yes, that. Yes. I don't understand wow. what it's like. This is when I know I'm old. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to use that for? I don't know. Yeah, it's just computing. It, to be fair, com- like spatial. It computing. is cool. There's other headsets that try to do what this is gonna do, but they can't. I bet you they executed really well too. I bet you the OS like. I bet uh, yeah, I bet the OS is incredible. Look at the pass through. It's probably amazing. This is probably the first true like, like actual augmented reality. If we're being real, you know, it could be amazing. Because for example, the Oculus Three does quote unquote augmented reality. The problem is the pass through. The camera is like fucking four (laughs) eighty p. It looks like shit. It's like I'm going like I I can't see shit on the pass through. It's (laughs) laggy. This is probably super smooth and, you know interesting like how did like i wonder how long they've been developing this behind the scenes you know oh years <coughs> i'm just trying to understand like it's just like the next this is gonna like right change now, the world just, like, you this know? is how you watch tv really cool I i'm mean, down i'll pay it if you're yeah you can put the screen as big as you want look at that shit if you're like That's single kind of let's say it's like the only thing i like it for. and you don't want to buy furniture like you don't want to buy a tv you don't want to buy my <laughs> computer you sit there in one chair. You, just, you, just, <laughs> you just get a couch. And so a people table, are gonna do though. They're gonna leave. Put it like, down and just buy this. This is just the foundation because eventually, like, like people <laughs> are gonna, gonna do that. Be, people are gonna just money. have you a chair. Apartments that are like 150 square feet, smaller, and motherfuckers just sit on a couch and have this little That's cage how apartments. It's gonna be. Dude. That's how they go to work and like have fun. And dude, in like sleep. 30 years, it's gonna <laughs> look like. All you're gonna need is Ready Player One. You just need a place to sit down, dog. This is gonna be a consumer product. In this is the beginning. This is the beginning for sure. Mm-hmm. You're not wrong. It's scary to think about, isn't it? I it's mean, definitely a fucking. No one's weird. gonna buy TVs. They're not gonna buy computers. They're just gonna have these headsets on. And then you and lose just them. Chill. It's an interesting. Then you just lose people to Three fucking your desktop. Virtual. Look reality. at all the products. You live you in have. a computer. Yeah. You can have unlimited monitors. Your life is served. Is it, people are gonna walk around with these. They're like advertising so eventually. good. I want eventually. one now. You can have unlimited monitors, man. Yeah, like I'm that. not going to lie. The more we watch this, the more I want to buy it. <laughs> the, more I buy it. <laughs> the more we look at this, the more I'm like, just, wow, that's just dope. I actually your fucking like Apple VR thing. You're just like, what's Wait, up? Wait, it's, it's, it's not um, streaming, though. Like, the, all this, the computing is built into the headset, yeah? I'm sure you can yeah. figure out how to stream something. Oh, my God. 
But what's the battery? I mean, I the think the battery is like never buy pack. the first the version. Two hours. Never buy V one. I think the battery is two hours. Honestly, yeah, the battery's ass. But you can plug it in and probably just use yeah, it, you like, can plug in. For never sure. buy V one. That's incredible. <laughs> <Especially with Apple. laughs> oh, you haven't tried your uh, your slice. <gasps> yeah, slice up, dog. Have yeah, your slice, it. bro. Oh. What I'm gonna do now is align the court with the real court. Okay, we can align everything up, right? Uh, this is on this is on the Meta Quest Three, which is, is like three hundred bucks. This is the one I was talking about. about. So this thing costs three hundred bucks. So are people gonna pay thirty five hundred versus three hundred, and they could do this? This is kind of cool. This is nuts. Playing tennis with his buddy, two thousand miles apart. That's hard as fuck. That's actually that sick, and that yeah. costs three hundred dollars. Yes, which is insane. Yeah. See what that looks like? We round one. Yeah, Wii. the so, Wii was elite, bro. It was before. Yeah, it was like, hold on, we can't, we can't, hold on, we can't, we can't hate on the Wii. Hold on a second. I'm not but hating yes, on but the I know Wii. What you mean, I'm just but saying mean. that looks like that looks like Wii tennis. You know, I was a uh, I was baked the, the other day, and I went to the game store, and uh, I bought a Wii. Oh, I bought a Wii and I bought Wii Sports. Nice couple, resort or just the regular one? Uh, just the regular, like Wii the classic. Bought, uh, you guys heard it here first. We're we're getting healthy at Pine Park. Uh -huh. Hey, we got we got Wii Sports. We got, back the, Wii. We got the Wii challenge. New challengers oh. entered the arena. <laughs> yep. Well, so wait, what do you play on Wii Sports? I haven't played it yet. It's just, in the you just bought it, <laughs> but I got it. Bought it for fun. Whenever we need to play it, I got that bitch. One day I'm gonna bust it out. One day it's gonna be worth it. But it was cheap, and I feel like you know physical media is something that as time goes on is more scarce. So I like to buy like you know all the video game shit. I got hella shit just sitting in my closet. <laughs> I got a lot of games. The apocalypse isn't ready for Gobby's game stash. Hell no, nah, bro. <laughs> Unlimited Shit, entertainment. I'm fighting for, I'm fight, what was that? Unlimited entertainment. Oh, I'm locked in, bro. If I got a generator, <laughs> we're fucking gone. We don't need internet. Need we got see little jackery, dude. You're I got good. Extra controllers. We're good. We're ready. Yeah. Don't even worry. We're pulling yeah. up, dude. I like that. I like that a lot, man. This stuff went very well. You know what else I like is the fact that Pine it? Park this Flower, this stuff well. right here, yeah. that stuff right there, is available up and down the state, man. Start Woo! your new year off right with three amazing strains. <laughs> this guy damn near made it happen over here. Is a big instrumental part of this yep, flower happening. Yep. So make sure you guys show some love to Barney. Show some love to the flower. <clears throat> a lot of dispensaries, man. We're in Green Thumb in San Diego. Stash and Dash for delivery to your door. The Pottery in L.A. From the Earth in Santa Ana. It's for our OC friends out there. Ooh. A lot of good stuff, man. We're in some Catalyst stores. I believe four or five of those bad boys. It's good stuff, man. We're in a lot of spots. You oh, gotta come yeah. find it. yeah. Up and down the state, baby. Triple Z, Black Sherbin, Smarties. Come get some motherfucking Pine Park, bro. Come get some Pine Park. Get it, baby. Oh, shit. We had a lunar landing. Oh. We're going to the moon. I guess we did. Oh, we're going to, I'd say. The yes, Vulcan sir. Centaur, America's first lunar lander in more than 50 years, takes off for the moon. <gasps> the Vulcan okay. Centaur, a United Launch Alliance rocket. What the fuck is that? Marked a significant milestone in American space exploration, launching Astrobotics Peregrine, Peregrine lunar lander towards the moon. Wow. Scheduled to land in mid-February. Carry scientific instruments to explore lunar radiation. Jeez, in service composition? Damn, space I kind of scary, bro. Dude, I'd be down to go. Fucking send me. Would you would go to space? Not how, not like the moon far, but I want to see like the Earth from space. That'd be sick. all right. So wait, wait. <laughs> Earth, Tether me down. Earth, like let's say someone tells you Earth is ending. Oh, in then, yeah. fifty I'm years. Let me out there. Oh, would I'd, you cop a flight? I'd leave you, it like year would forty-five. You ride it out. All right, what if someone told you what if someone You know Eric's this? getting on that, the last person <laughs> on that flight. <laughs> oh, what the fuck, what bro? Someone said, <laughs> you're the last one on that. <laughs> yeah, you would, you would miss the fucking flight, bro. You'd be stuck. He for be sure over. would miss the last flight on Earth. <laughs> no, for sure, bro, dog. Fuck. Like, no way, man. <laughs> that I start complaining to the fucking best lady. You like she's Jack like, a Boeing at the airport and just try to fall. That's fucking funny. God damn. Oh, my God. This... Companies owned by Boeing. Oh, oh no. No. <laughs> no. Stop the flight. The goblins are running. He's like, don't do, it. don't do it. Don't do it. Get an Airbus. Get an Airbus. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, it transports the cremated remains and DNA of Gene Roddenberry and Arthur C. Clarke, among others, what? with a rover. They're and like a physical Bitcoin. 
They're like they sent a Bitcoin to the moon, what? bro. <laughs> Why did Wait, they take so their body? That, bro, we gotta go stain that. What? <laughs> Why'd they go take their body? Dude, up? No, They're like, I want to be buried under the moon. moon stealing that's the wild. Yeah, that's so wild. Yeah, how, 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 whose billionaire huh? body is going up to the fucking moon, Damn, dude? That's kind of hard. Let me what bury me on the moon. Oh Yo, my. Is that, that's just allowed. You can just get buried on the moon. Sir Arthur Charles Clarke. He's a science fiction writer, science writer, futurist, inventor. Wait, he was everything. Yeah, and an undersea explorer. Is this Nathan? Drake dude, and a television this, this series host. Uncharted How the guy? fuck do you just get buried on the moon, though? I'm so confused. He Wait. co-wrote a 2001. Space Wait, he died Odyssey. 15 years ago. <laughs> Space Odyssey. That's a great movie. It's a fucking banger. I, that's one of the best movies of all time. Damn you. How the fuck? Widely regarded as one of the most influential films of all time, he co-wrote that. Dude. I just don't understand how, how is he just getting buried on the moon? Is, is there more people? Okay, buried let's on the see moon? the other guy, Roddenberry. Is there yeah. other people buried on the moon? This is this. They is might be the only. Hold on a second, dude. Oh, dude. Huh, is there like there a fucking burial ground the up moon. there? What the fuck is Yo, going wait, on? Wait. Do you think there's on the moon? <laughs> Yo, chill oh. the fuck out. This just got like a little like. This guy was born in Texas, man. <laughs> El Paso, from Texas. Texas. He was an American <sighs> television screenwriter. So they brought some of this guy's. <laughs> They brought oh, this guy too. Star Trek. Oh, damn! Bury him on the moon. That guy he should be on the fucking moon. That guy should be on the fucking moon. That guy should be on the fucking moon. That's fire as fuck. Yeah, okay, okay, so let me get this straight. He died in Santa Monica. The two died most popular the Hollywood space shows ever. And they take him up to the moon. You, to the moon. You, they're, they're burying to the moon. the moon. And you don't think they're on a fucking Hollywood set right now, fucking filming this shit? Come on. What kind of conspiracy bullshit are we watching? They're not going to the moon. Guys. Bringing their DNA up there. Yeah, they're cum. Oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? They froze it. <laughs> wow. This, just what? Frozen. this episode's turning left all over the just place. Just frozen cum on the moon. <laughs> Jesus. Who's the first Come person on, not dude. on the moon? <sighs> These guys. Bro. Now, you don't think Neil busted one out real quick? I don't know. How? He, gotta, he out to the face over. He's like, hold on. Tantric? You gotta How? Just think it through. Like, no, he went to the fucking bathroom in the Hollywood like, bro, studio. You're on the you're on a spaceship for like a year. Okay. You're definitely jerking you get it on to the spaceship. Moon, for sure. You haven't nutted in so long. I would jump out and rub They for sure quick, nutted honestly. in the spaceship. On the, okay, so they for sure were jacking wall, off on, on the, the wall spaceship. Of the spaceship. <laughs> just floating and shit. Did they get a little gay on the spaceship, do you think? I mean, I don't know their sexual preference. It was uh, just a bunch of dudes on there the first time. I don't know their sexual Guaranteed preference. I'm not sure. There's some cool vacuum cleaner they don't tell us about. Oh, there's oh. definitely some, some people that were fucking in space. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Floating yeah. in shit. You're floating. Bro, they got like a flashlight built in. Like a <laughs> Zero gravity flashlight. You're just like floating. Uh, uh, the back opens and it just gets sucked out into space. Damn, I want to go in zero gravity. How many that people do you insane. think fucked in space? There's got to be a small oh, number of people, yeah, right? Oh, yeah, there's got to be some. It's got to be a yeah. small list. Though. Every time. That's like, like a wild there, thing to think about. Like, of all the humans that have ever existed. Like I bet you it was the Russians. 20 people that have fucked fuck in space, maybe? What do you think? Oh, they're up there on the International Space Station fucking right now. They're I mean, probably Brad, fucking Brad's right Brad's now, right? It, for sure. How international is it? Like, is it? You like run into the other people, like you know what I'm saying? How international? <laughs> what the fuck? Are, you did you like, you are know, they kind of separate? Is it like an airport space terminal? Space no. Are bro, you bro, fucking no. kidding? Bro, kidding me right it's now? a science. Like, are you fucking station. kidding me like, right now? Just, you can't just go to there. <laughs> no, I know, I know, but I'm how saying like how international is the International Space Station? <laughs> no, exactly. Like how, <laughs> it's mainly <laughs> no, no. <laughs> From what I've seen online, what I've seen online is mainly like Russians and Americans. Pull this up. That's what I'm saying. Like how many countries have access to general? Really just station. Russians is Mainly, really what yeah, it's like yeah. 90% just Russians. That's the only people that are up there all the time. But How the Ameri- large is it? We go up, we go up there every now and then. Could you fit a club in it? Like, this guy, did no, you like, think it was you, like separated into like Disneyland like section? I thought it was just, I thought it was pretty like, large. Oh, like you wouldn't even like Asian see them because that's how large it is. <laughs> No, you just go through the little tubes. Oh, okay. Well, I, I mean, look at that was. shit, dude. You want hey, to I see it now. You've seen, you've seen videos shit. of of the International uh, Space Station. You've seen this shit. Wait, I, I mean, I'll be honest. I have no idea what it looks like on the inside. It's just like a tube. I guess it's oh, tough to shit. see. Oh shit, that's like, got to be old. Yeah, that's got to look cooler tight. than that now. What do you think? They just change it? No, nah, see, look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Dude, it's got to. It's got to look cooler than that. It's just a tube. Yo! <laughs> there's no Yo! Doubt. Yo! There's no doubt. She, yeah. You're having what? Zero, for Yo. sure. Yeah, yeah, they're fucking. Look at how close they Not are. Not even close, bro. I how wouldn't even have to be drunk or nothing. You know? 
Not what at all. No, fuck? give me a year with no pussy in space. A year? Bro, give, give me, me a week. Six days. Give me a week. Give what me the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send me right now. <laughs> Send me oh, right now. Oh, it's closed. But you gotta, you gotta think. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta think though. They're right up to the space stations a year, so they just spend that whole time getting. Horny. Is it really? It's a probably year? a long time. Maybe how long does it take to get to the space time, station? Right? How long does it take? How long does it take to get to the moon? Uh, the rover's going in two while. months. That's about the most. I How long does it take to drive down to Universal the Studios going right in now? Two months. How long does it take? Two months? We can drive Universal yeah, right now. Yeah, but that's not flying people. That's like sending a little rover. Yeah, but it's not real they though. Just we just go to the studio shit. and they film in this shit. It's not sending mm. people. I don't think they change. No, they're not sending the people. They fly out of. The- I think they do <laughs> that once there's it's bigger ships and stuff. They got to change it. What? Because like. So I, mean, I think, I think our kidding, I think our right? education on the space system is just <laughs> well, not no, no, there. No. I think we're just guessing. I think we're just throwing shit out there. We have uh, no fucking you could, clue. You could definitely fly it faster. Bro, if there's no I people because you don't have to worry about G forces or nothing. You can just fucking fling that bitch. Yup. I don't know. Like if what if the, people you got? That's how you just blow up the fucking plane, dude. We can't just be fucking going full force on it. <laughs> <laughs> just flinging people, bro. Dude. <laughs> What? Damn. See, you over here talking about some what? bullshit. Like a, a year? Wait, like Eric, a year. Eric's like, oh, it's been so long. I need to fuck him. It's been four hours. <laughs> I didn't say that. I said a week. I said a week. I said a week. I, said a week. I, said a week. <laughs> I could fly to the International Space Station faster than I can fly to New York right now. That doesn't even... That, how's faster, that math right work? How fast is the fucking goddamn thing going? So you got to wait for the G-forces, bro. A fly from That's here to New York is like going. five and a half hours. Fuck. Have you ever been on like a... Can we, G- on a space can we go on a G-force simulator? Probably. You're just like... You gotta oh do that. God, you gotta you do that so you don't fucking pass shit. out. I wonder what that feels like. I don't know if I want to do the G4 simulator. I'd rather do like the, the free fall. I don't think I've felt even what's one. Free, what's before? the free fall one? I think my car is a G force measure and I've gone like 0.8 before and I was like on the side. Can you imagine? They be doing, <laughs> like, they be doing like one nine. G like going in here. They be doing like nine G's, dude. Like holy shit. <gasps> I wonder you how much kills I wonder how much kills you. They for sure be shitting themselves. Mm, it just squeezes out. You ever shit yourself like just with no G's? Can you imagine shitting yourself <laughs> on a bunch of G's? What's up, yeah. you shit yourself, Tim? I don't know. Probably childhood. Yeah. Nah, it's been real. I probably, I probably have farted. What about a shark? Yeah, out. give me yeah, a shark. Probably, that's probably happened. Oh, sharks yeah. are dangerous. Dude, dangerous. If that happened now with my stinky farts, oh, dude. We, oh. We, so you're telling me we about all have before to run we started cover. rolling about these stinky farts us. that you got going on, Timmy? What about there? it? What'd what you say? What's going on with your stinky farts? You were trying to tell us about these earlier. It's dangerous, dude. Like why if I farted having, right now, why are you I think having I'd, bad farts right now? I changed my diet. I'm eating like just like a like a high meat diet, no carbs, no sugar. Like a T-Rex. Yeah, it's a carnivore diet. Yeah, Car- just like eggs, eggs diet. and meat, basically. That sounds fun. Yeah, it's nice. lit. What are you having for lunch? Yeah, what's your what's your go to? Well, fuck, I gotta eat this bullshit with you, fuckers. <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, yeah, I gotta do fucking French fry diet. Just close your hey. eyes. It's, a it's a cheat deal. Pretend it's, a cheat it's deal. me. That is Pretend a cheat it's meal. me. I would say like ninety percent of That's my like my diet is diet. like no carbs <laughs> and sugar. Like whenever I like we cook at the house, like I've, I've been eating a lot of steak, honestly. Nice. And, but I've been eating a lot of cheese too. You put like a little cheese slice on top. No, I've just been like eating fucking cheese. Like mozzarella. Like eating fucking meat String and then eating cheese. No, like just like Crazy fucking diet. hunks of cheese. <laughs> and I think that's why my fucking- Like nice cheese? Yeah, like some good like grass fed cheese. Ooh. Mm. Nom, nom, the nom, ones nom. that are all like individually wrapped for like- wow. oh, Damn. What's Those your are all favorite expensive like, go-to cheese, cheese to snack on? I don't know. You like have a, a favorite cut of steak? Um, Probably like a fucking- this is a very talented Like a ribeye. Question. Yeah, oh, okay. like a ribeye. Yeah. Oh, ribeyes are good. Yeah, ribeyes, ribeye's, ribeye's, pro- ribeye's probably the best. Ribeye if you say filet, I fucking hate you. You don't fuck with filets? Dude, yes. They're just really fat. They're good. They're good. Filets are good. Fucking filets are good, but it's just like, it's like a cop-out answer. You make me sick, but It's a cop-out answer. Filet, I just hate cooking filets, bro. Not even a New York strip, Big old fat bullshit. I just hate cooking. I'll take a New York strip over a filet all day long. What? All day long. What? No, yeah, dead no ass. way! I will. There's no yeah. way. I, I will. I'll I even two. hate cooking fillets, and I would rather cook a fillet nah. than like eat a New York steak. How about a ribeye? Nah, though? you're tripping. Ribeye for sure on top. Yeah, uh, on top, on top. Yeah. And New York yeah. can be fire. Yeah, ribeye. Fillet, fillet New York ribeye. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, you're so wrong. It's not even funny. I don't. You're I, literally. See, I'm not even I, like a New, a New York and a ribeye. It could be interchangeable for me. I, to be completely honest, just meat. As long as it's grass fed, I'm in. So I can like there's a this huge guy, difference for me. LA so, ass answer. All right, do we sushi? Yeah. We see so sushi. Chu Toto O Toto Akame. Who what when? Mm. Okay, so there's levels <laughs> Levels of the tuna, baby. There's levels of the tuna. Okay. So like O Toto is like the fattiest, the really belly. good one. Chu Toto is like the middle. Akame is like the red stuff you're used to eating. That everybody eats, yeah. That yeah, everybody yeah. eats. 
I like the red one best out of the three. See, you know what? That's, because my palate doesn't like really fatty. Food. I agree with this because okay. I don't like A5. I yeah. like I like A3. Mm. And when it comes to Wagyu, because find it's A3. Fucking ask him. <laughs> and so you go to the Smart and Final Japanese store. And you just ask fucking who, ask him. Like who? They don't have A5. <laughs> they only offer A3. But it's just it's not them. as fatty. The marbling <laughs> is just not as it's it's not as fatty. And that's yeah. it's I don't like the fuck. It's just too much. It's so that's my <laughs> issue with it. Same, same with the Toro, though. It's too much. Yeah, it's just it's a little too much for me. It's too I'm not, rich. Too I'm not rich. saying that I don't understand that there's more flavor in a ribeye, but like I don't give a fuck about the flavor. I want the delicious like texture. The texture kind of guy. Bro. So you like the, the tenderness How are you getting your of the flavor. Oh, uh, matters on where I am, but oh god, medium rare or medium. Yep. Oh, you scared Medium's me. I thought oh, you were going to say something clean. freaky like, well done. I'll do yeah. a medium occasionally at a place that like I don't mind really, medium. really can cook a steak. Medium's I'll do cool. a medium um, yeah. because like a really good medium is so hard to do because everybody cooks at medium rare now um, that like if you're going to a really good steakhouse. Medium like, is great. I'm not mad at that. Good. Yeah. Medium, medium rare is my, uh, Medium rare is where it's at for sure. But. Medium rare is flavorful. Yeah. It's, uh, I think medium rare I'd go on everything but fillets I like medium. It's yeah, fillets. Thick, right? You gotta cook a little more. There's a little, little like. Thick. They get a little cold in the center. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's a bit of a problem. It's They're too red. So that's the only and I like fillets so you know that's Mm-hmm. I love how you two just went completely deep in on the I hate fillet people as I it's sat here. Yeah. I just I knew you liked fillets. I knew Listen, the my mom loved me. What do you want me to I tell you? I knew you liked fillets. Like it's the same reason I like chicken breast. Like I like chicken, chicken breast. breast is great. My mom loved me. Chicken breast. She gave me chicken breast. Like chicken. Let me tell you. Chicken is good. Chicken's great. I'm ready. And like rice is the best part. And like rice is better than potatoes. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Settle down. <laughs> same. Settle down. You're Actually, shaming yeah, my there's, culture. There's so that. many different types. I was like, there's so much know. less versatile. It's like yeah, a hard yeah, argument yeah. Rice to is really. Rice kind of. Yeah, rice is like baked potato. Good. It's so less versatile. That's a white person's gift to the world. My mom loved the baked potato. My mom was also white as could be. <laughs> um, so like, I don't disagree. Baked potatoes are great, um, <laughs> but like, it's got nothing on rice. Rice is like the the joiner of cultures, like. Fuck. It is across every culture. They got potatoes in every I mean, culture. potatoes are pretty yeah, much across potatoes. every culture as well, though, too. Objectively, if I had to choose, like, baked potato or, like, rice, I would choose. I need to know this in the comments right now. Potatoes or rice? What are we thinking? What is the staple that you must have? This I think is most important. people are this potatoes. Is, I, think, oh, I think the majority think of most people are. Just because oh, they're so God. versatile, you got mashed you potatoes, so fries, fries, fries baked potato. potato. Yeah. Rice is just scalloped, scalloped potato. Mashed potatoes a alone. Scalloped potato. Man, dude, even the Asian dude's not on my side. You ever had I love rice. I love He's rice. westernized, bro. You gotta <laughs> Breakfast <laughs> potatoes. You years now. chop them yeah. up nice and diced. <laughs> Come on, there's so many good. Rice is just, rice is good. But it's rice. Rice, rice is, is amazing. Rice is top tier. But like, it's just rice. It is rice. Yep. And I like okay, rice. Okay, so fried, rice. Fried, fried rice. Fried rice. Fried rice. Okay, hold on, hold on. Fried rice. But you have to add a bunch of shit. Ah, oh, but you have to add stuff to potatoes. Like, not that right? much though. Not that much though. Like a baked potato, literally stick it in the oven. A little salt, a little butter. But I'm just, I could deal with just that. Mash, mash, <laughs> just mashed potatoes, I think, is better than rice. Yeah, mashed potatoes. Is so like mashed potatoes sheesh. is fucking mm-hmm. goaded. Some mashed potatoes. No butter. Yeah, yeah, butter. But butter. you can put some butter on the rice. Ah, but, ah, you just right, put listen, nothing though. on the rice. You just washing the rice and cooking the rice. Fingerling potatoes. Fucking no. Salt, bake in the oven. That's it. I'm in. I'm in. Potato wedges. Oh. oh, bake in the oven. French Potato fries. Wedges. Just French fries. French fries Duh. from France. We're doing I got, a little got, show, huh? We're doing a little I show. I got risotto. Okay, okay risotto's okay. 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 Now, hit me with some more All shit. Right. Win like me that. over. Little, All right. Hit me with okay. some more little shit. Quick little Come on. Right there. Come okay. on. No, risotto's good. I like risotto. I like that. Yeah. You're adding some versatility to the flavor. I went to almost potato. I went to a Gordon It's close. It's getting it's getting potato y. I mean, you can't smoke a joint out of fucking potato paper. Boom. Mm. What's up? Mm. Now you can smoke yeah. joints with rice. Are we? I'm leaning towards yeah. rice now. Are we branching out? I'm leaning just, towards rice. You know, is, are we, what else can you do with potatoes? You can drink okay. them, shove them. Oh, oh out of vodka. Guns, like. You can make alcohol of potatoes. You can do that with rice, too. Oh, oh fuck. Rice. Double points. Boom. Oh, shit. shit. Oh, we're getting okay. fucking crazy. Um, oh, shit. How does that work? You Come just on, ferment potato. it, and it just like starts getting you drunk? Come Come on, on, God. Yeah. Can we make some homebrew and fucking like drink it in a couple of weeks? No, no, no. Why? Because we might die. Maybe poison ourselves or something. Yeah, it's, that's uh, not good. That's chill. <laughs> what, what an end to the show. Like everyone died of alcohol. Episode poisoning. 100, we try the everyone. moonshine we made. <laughs> oh, that'd be incredible. <laughs> We've been fermenting this for 26 weeks. 
Ooh, it's a good age, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sounds, it sounds has, has proper. Anyone, who's had moonshine here? Like real moonshine, not like. Yeah. Me too. Uh-uh. I fucking hate it. I really liked mine for like two months because I think I told myself it was cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I found out that I fucking hate it as well. When I was mm. younger, um, we used to go to my friend's house and his dad was really fucking rich like loaded this guy had a boat and he was like a big like fine alcohol enthusiast so he had this liquor cabinet in the basement glass cabinet all these bottles on the shelf and we would just raid that shit and he'd never noticed um (laughs) and he had this moonshine that was like i don't remember what we saw the proof on the bottle and we were like we gotta try that. oh wait it doesn't count if there's proof on the bottle it doesn't count Oh, okay. All right. Well, I didn't go to like a shack in Kentucky for it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, like mine came from like this dude in Molokai. Okay, like, yeah. Then I have it. Yeah, that okay. was like my still that he made it in his bath. My next question okay. was like, did you were you drinking it from like the hills of Hawaii or some no, shit? No, like, like, so like no joke, it came over in jars, like literally like mason jars, and like the first one I was okay, ever given was right. banana. No, I haven't had some hooch wow. like that. No, yeah, it was no, it was banana, and it like it looked like the yellowest pee you've ever seen in your life oh um so when the homie was like oh bro drink some of that on the table i looked at him i was like you can go fuck yourself bro yeah, i'm not really? drinking your fucking piss <laughs> I'm not do this. so how good was it though it was spectacular um the banana especially like that's what kind of made me think they're all gonna be good and that flavor really came through too like you really got the banana but it was like sort of like the after flavor right like okay. after that burn went away it's sort of almost like Jeez. I didn't know the word mouth coat back then, but that's probably hey, the best way to explain it. Little mouth coat action. Um, yeah, I mean, I I don't like alcohol very much, so I was like, dude, this is the strongest shit I can find, and it makes me like sound cool that I'm drinking moonshine. When, when, How strong was it? Like one sip, and you were like, you, it was like drinking fucking kerosene. <laughs> um, burn, did it like burn? When yeah, you like, no, like, yeah, like crazy. You just you. Oof. Oh, oh fuck! Holy this shit. can't be a good decision. Like that's you know, so they were drinking back in the day, like, yeah, like Roman era and shit. They were just drinking out. that like it was water. What the fuck? You don't have a choice. Men Damn. aren't men anymore, huh? Isn't that right, Tim? Mm-hmm. What is it? Now we drink uh, soju. OG grape pie. Yeah, now we drink soju. I drink flavored fucking. I just rice fucking yeah, now you drink. Now people <laughs> drink a soda and they're like, oh, it burns. <laughs> <laughs> fucking pussy. Soda is. We're drinking mo- moonshine. <laughs> this is a jar of feel good that was called Zoju. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds delicious. Damn. It does sound very good. Soju. It's got to have a Z. Feels good. Had a great year, huh? Yeah, I mean, I, I smoked a lot of it. Mm. Um, <laughs> those smiley faces seem to be everywhere. They are moving. They are um, moving. Like, what was your favorite hash of the year, would you say? Not like a specific company. Maybe throw out a couple brands, a couple of little runs. I don't try enough brands, which is the hard part. Um, let's see here. <sighs> this is a hard one for me because I haven't smoked a lot of hash this year. Or what was your favorite shit from 2023? Um, what was your favorite smoke? Any of it. Any of it. That just stands out. That you were like, damn, I was smoking a lot of that this year. I mean, I smoked a gang of this D1. I'll start there. That's, yeah. That D1 was wild for me. <laughs> um, I smoked a ton of Triple Indy. Um, the one that I didn't smoke that I think stands out is Purple Dino. Purple Dino. Um, it's like you. It sounds interesting. It's from Blueprint. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, it's uh, it's discussed on if it's named after me or not. The uh, I think they gave dino. you an that's hilarious. Train. That was a little that was, a little that was a little nod right there. The purple mm-hmm. I, I say no. It's gotta um, be. But at the same time, look at my pretty purple rig. Whoa! Um, it's a wave. It's like a mini of the one that what's his name is. <gasps> Wind. Where is he? Wow. Where is he? Um. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of boring. Triple India, I guess. Um, hey. But there was this that mule shit. fuel BHO that I had that shook me this BHO, year. BHO, let's um, go. Putting deal. on for the BHO boy. I Absolutely want some more BHO, me. some fire BHO. Yeah, where's all the around. good BHO at, man? Where are the Everyone motherfuckers just at, dude? Everyone's putting out trash rosin. Yeah, like, oh. yeah. yeah <laughs> Stop <laughs> making, go smells, back, go back to making fire. It doesn't get you high at all, bro. Right. You know how I'm many ready for some good dabs I've taken lately that have just not hit me at all? Are you guys anti-BHO? No, no. Or, or did you if guys good BHL smoke? See, that's, if there was some shit that smoked clean and got me high. I don't really give a shit. I don't care. Yeah, I don't give a fuck it. where it's just like, oh, if it's not if it's not solventless, I'm not smoking it. Yeah, you're fucking it. weird for that statement. Like that shit. I prefer odd. solventless typically, but lately there's been so much average ass like solventless that I feel like most of the people left making the other shit got to be pretty good at it, right? Like the the well, yeah, to make it through that long. Yeah, yeah if they stuck really with good. it exactly, because there's there's. There's just less good live resin around, but it's still there. 
it's still, it's still there. Up. There's just less of it. Like, yeah. I think it's There's gonna make. Like, I, I feel like the comeback is 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 starting. I feel like I don't know why, but I feel like the live resin comeback is gonna. There's gonna be a little wave. Yeah, because people can't wave. afford this fucking eighty dollar gram rosin. Well, not, not even that. It's just it's it's not even great rosin though. Yeah, it's like facts. now we've got this this pool of like mediocre rosin where it's mm. like for the same price point I can get fucking fire bho yeah. but you can't anymore though. you can't but you, you should be able to though but the problem should, is you should like, be able it's to still the same the, the problem you're forgetting is it's the same issue bad well the input return the, the return bad output well see, but the, the 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 margin should be better on the solvent product with the returns it will be but the actual output's not going to be any better because the input still sucks if they if they I, yeah we need them to make good live resin because it, it is more need. affordable who's well, going to sure. step up and do it Tim? i don't know pine park dude we have to beg God damn, Pine Park's going to have to step up and do it. That's what. All right, yeah. that'd be sick. We're shutting down the studio and buying a lab. Pine Park needs to step up and make some fire fucking shit. Uh, just so we're clear, when he says Pine Park and he stares at me. and Jose How do you know what I'm staring at? at I got one eye, dog. I could be staring at Eric. the camera right <laughs> I don't know what you're looking at, too. Just so we're clear. I have no idea what you're looking uh-huh. at. Yeah, we'll do it. I'm staring at Eric. I'm staring. I don't know what I'm staring at. But no, but that would be awesome, I think, is, is there needs to be a resurgence of affordable, good, clean fucking live resin and it's just yep. not it's not an option yep like name name a name a brand okay like i mean name I'm a brand say, i'm gonna say feel good but like but name a brand though, like, it's like that's tough. not on the market like it's that's tough. yeah no, also, name, it, name it on the on the the, the dispensary market is is you can't name it can't think of one like 710 yeah. labs they still make some yeah but it's but the price though, point is 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 aggressive kind of up there it's aggressive yep but it is fire weed's it expensive fire. nowadays man and the taxes make it cost a lot Pretty much the, tech, the tax does you know? scuff stuff a lot, definitely. But the taxes yeah. ruin everything. The taxes is This is getting discussed a lot, Barney. What's the most amount of money you would pay for one ounce of really crazy fire weed? The most fire weed ever. One this is a hot topic. Right I've now. paid 850 Oh. Okay. Um, and I would proudly do it again. Damn, when okay. was this? When it was uh, this 850 purchase? Oh, four. Holy shit. Oh, so wow, that was like a long time ago. 1500 wow. now, I bet, or something. Yeah, that is inflation. Back? Inflation, yeah, that's I mean, a lot of money. Yeah. Oh, 304. Damn. Um, 20 $30 years ago. A gram the whole way up. Sheesh. Um, no breaks. Wow. So I definitely had bought ounces at $30 a gram. Probably. Um, wow. Like was that was that on the islands or anything? No, that was here. Oh wow! Uh, fuck. Does weed like that exist anymore? No. Oh. Um, <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> not for my personal judgment. We're getting close. There's a lot of really great growers out there that are chasing after some really cool stuff. Um, I've been able to sample quite a bit of this, so like we're getting closer. Fuck yeah. Um, there's a bunch of great OGs that are out. There's a bunch of Kushes that come out, and yes, there is a difference between OG and Kush. Good God. What's the um, difference? They're just completely different strains. Like, mm. you, there's oh, yeah, there's, there's different same. tendencies, and like yeah. it's people hear OG Kush and they're like, oh, it's one thing. Yeah, and mm. it's just no. Like, there's there's things that lead on the OG side. There's things that lead on the Kush side. Yeah. And people are like that doesn't make any sense. It's like that's because you don't know that there's two different things. Um, and for me, I'm not even like an expert at it because like what I think Skunk One is mm-hmm. is somewhere in that same category of what I call Gade in my head, and then everything's wrong unless it's that. Yeah. Um, but that's because that's the one strain for me. Like, I think everybody's heard me say it before. Skunk one, skunk one, skunk And do you one. think that like the OG strains are making uh, like a resurgence instead of just these candy terpy flavors? Um, yes and no. Um, and is it, is it no because it's so fucking hard to grow on a scale? No, it's no because candies are going to be around forever. Okay. Um, candies are going to rule the market for ever, ever as Everyone far as I'm candy. concerned. Um, because there's never going to be a time that like desserts weren't spectacular and people didn't sure. like sugar and sweet. Sure, sure. Um, that's just a tart profile that people are going to always like. Yeah. Um, historically, it's a popular flavor. So the rather 25, 30% of the market is where OG can pop in right now. Um, and then I think the sours are going to pop in for a while and then we're going to hit the haze thing and then we're going to crack back around and go through the list again. But I'm think- always down for a good OG cycle. Yeah, the OGs are coming though. Um, every brand in the game is talking about how they have the the next OG that's coming out. I've been hearing a lot of that. Let's find um, out. A lot of shit on Twitter about that. 
I mean, I mean, when I leave here, I have to go look at a bunch of OGs. So. Mm. Oh. <laughs> um, when's the when's the good OG coming? Like, how far out are we from like the right, the real? You know, that one where people are gonna be like. I think everyone has their own, which is the problem. Okay. Um, there was a lot of different strains and cuts out there, and it does, even more people who are growing it. And like grower to grower, strain to strain can change as well. So like, I don't think it's ever going to come out that there's going to be one that everybody agrees on because we all had it grown by a different person, even if it was the same cut. Yeah. 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 Um, so like, it's never going to be the one. Like, Elephants was like sort of the big one that got a lot of fame and jump right now. and it's good. It's not my, it's not the one that I think is like the one. Yeah. That's probably what a thousand dollars an ounce. Um, oh, more for sure now. Oh, whoa. Oh boy. It's getting crazier. Um, yeah. I mean, it's, it is getting more hype. Yeah. There's a, a lot, lot of expensive weed out there right now. Um, designer weed, huh? So they're calling it. Design. I don't know. Designer weed, I think was coined by connected and alien labs back in the day. Ooh. Um, I believe that was theirs way, way back. I think designer weed was from, yeah, the connected group. So I gotta give them their real their Shout originality out to them, props. Shout out Ted. You know, Mr. Ted. Everyone's still ripping off the the original plays and forgetting. So. Usually how it wow. goes. Mm. But you know, I, I like expensive weed, but I also I like expensive everything now. Damn. Um, and not because I can afford it, but because now I'm starting to understand that there's craftsmen and people who care about what they do. And like if they charge more, I wanna figure out why. Um, if I can afford it, if it's something for me, maybe not. But like when I was a kid, I thought Ferraris were stupid and I thought Rolexes were dumb and I thought luxury hotels were stupid. Yep. And as you get a little older, you're like, that's oh, just nice. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's pretty enjoyable. Like uh-huh. my back doesn't hurt because the bed was soft and I don't have like all these little bites on my leg because I don't mm-hmm. have bed bugs. Yeah. And like, it's pretty nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not having bed bugs seems like a good thing. It, it's a yes. pretty cool thing. Seems like Thank God solid. we're not in France. I heard Vegas has bad bed bugs recently too. Oh, There's like a little infestation that's there. fucking nasty. Crazy, Did dude. the French get there? Damn, what's damn, what's up with the French man? hatred here? Huh? Yeah. The They're travel. fucking. Have you not, dude? Paris is fucking infested with bed bugs. You haven't seen that shit? Bed? Oh, it's fucking gross. Ew. Paris has hella bed bugs. It's gross. Okay, cool. Didn't know that. That's yeah. disgusting. Yeah. And all the hotels and everything. Everywhere. Like res- residences as well. Residences, hotels, the subway. Like it's it's fucking bad, bro. That made my belly oh. button hurt. <laughs> that is my belly button. <laughs> yeah, his bed bug thing is nasty. A yeah, bed, bed bug. In the Jewish tunnel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we're just not giving that one up, huh? <laughs> Jesus. It's not gonna let that one slide. Huh? Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. How was your uh, experience with us in Michigan last time uh, we went, man? How was that? I think you went with us on a nice little adventure for us to drop our pine park in Michigan. It was a journey. I, I was humbled. Mm. I think is the best way to explain it. Whoa. Interesting um, word. <laughs> I don't know if how this can get uh, censored out, but you know. Okay. Um, I politely didn't really realize the scale of what Pine Park and what you guys do for a living is. Mm. Um, and it's not even the scale of it as much as the impact. Mm. Um, so for me, you know, I've been in cannabis for a long time. I like what I call fuckboy hype culture. Yeah. Um, so like, I like lines. I like cool shit. I like limited stuff. I like all of these things and watching people willingly wait in line for six hours just to hang out was mind blowing to me. Um, and most importantly, because that's sort of what cannabis was based on was like just Getting high and hanging out with your friends and Hell sharing yeah. ideas and, you know, waiting for whatever that little moment is that you get to find joy in the day. Yep. Um, as small as that little bit of joy may be, like that could be the whole thing for you. It's um, fine. And being able to see that community resurrected was dope. Um, I think every generation does it differently. Yeah. Um, you know, we're a little different in age and seeing like sort of like the next group come along and be nice to each other and get along and know about weed and come out in fucking army form. Yep. Um, it was crazy to me. I could not believe my eyes. Um, I have a couple of videos of me on my camera that I was watching the other day. Actually, it was just like, I'm so sorry, Michigan. I will never doubt you again. Yeah. But, yeah. I didn't know they were smoking like that either, honestly. Michigan that was insane. Crazy, they be smoking yeah. in Michigan. What a time. 
But like, they also like, I talk to people in Michigan still. Um, mm-hmm. Their stores aren't like that all the time. Yeah. Right? Like that's not normal. They're not normally seeing thousand person lines for hours out before. Um, so yeah, just think it sort of blew my mind. And then when we did it here in California, California is a different place. I mean, the travel's far and like yep. traffic and all these other things. And still Eagle. to see the community come still out. Still killed it. To not have anybody arguing. Nobody was complaining. Yeah. It was amazing to watch. Yeah. You know, I, I think my favorite thing about the meetups that we've done is like seeing people online just like chill out, you know, and have a big stash essentially. You now people are just vibing, having a good time, meeting people, you know, talking to each other. It's like they're not just standing in line. You know, no, like it's, it's dope. I have friends now that I've met from like the meet and greets. Yeah, like, fuck yeah. yeah, I love that um, yeah. for sure. Like no question. Um, and like you know, I'm I'm new to this whole world, but like that's the part for me. Like Michigan sort of opened my eyes and you know humbled me to the fact of like, dude, you're just one of those chapters in the cannabis book, right? Like this is still early in the innings, but I'm just one of those pages yeah. that gets to go through and then. Everybody else who gets to smoke weed gets to do it too. Yeah. And it's just such a dope feeling. Fuck yeah. Like just such a dope feeling. So yeah, humbled is probably the best word because I'm still, I'm still somewhat in shock and awe after like, what the hell was that? It yeah. was crazy. Yeah, like, California was crazy was too. That? We got a lot of other crazy moves this year, man. Very excited. We're going to shut down a couple other states perhaps, Ooh. man. Should be a good vibe. Should be a good vibe. Where do you want to smoke most in the state? If you could bring Blueprint or Pine Park, or if you could bring your smoke to one state. Ooh, why? Mm. Ooh, that would be a that's fun a, that's one. That's a slam dunk. I'm that down. That makes I'm sense. ready to go. Fun. You were in Hawaii recently, yeah? I was. How long? Uh, I was there for eight days over Christmas. Fuck hey. yes. Fuck yeah. What's uh. the weather like in Hawaii during the holidays? Like that? It like is always winter. the same. Um, oh. Beautiful. Oh. oh, it's like LA. It's like kind of the same. Like yeah, it, uh, Beautiful it, with the potential of rain. And that might go. Yeah, it go. might rain. Yeah. Um, Very nice. Very it nice. actually rained for like two straight days when I was there, which is really not normal. Whoa. Just, oh, like, it just didn't even stop? Yeah, it was just no like break. almost heavy, heavy, That's heavy. crazy. Um, so that was a little much. Yeah, um, fuck yeah, that is. But the nice part is, is in Hawaii, our roads are built for water. Like they, in they, LA, if it rains like that, like everybody's getting flooded out and their fucking apartment complexes are going to fall over. Good luck. I'm yep. <laughs> um, in Hawaii. It just goes to the ocean. Um, we're used to it. It rains every day. Yeah, they've planned, um, they've planned for this. <laughs> yeah, we, like, we, we, we planned for this. It's, it's just part of the deal. Um, yeah, I, I love Hawaii. Did you did you do did anything you, like you, uh, like was it like a family trip? So did were you you with the whole family celebrating the holidays, right? Yeah, brought the fam. Um, tried to introduce him to more of my family that's still there. A little culture, um, fuck yeah, yeah. Just give my like not even culture, just as like my son to have people that look and smell like him. Okay, um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's just a way to put it. It's just you know, there's like pheromones and stuff that you don't think about. Yeah, yeah, totally. That you don't know, like. 100%. 100%. This is your blood. Whoa, that was weird. Whoa, that's twice today, dog. What the fuck was that? He's <laughs> been dapping it up all day. He stole my started. swag on that one, though, because I feel like I let it out a little bit earlier. We had to check the VOD. And you kind of picked it up a little bit, but it's cool. We're like, going to check the VOD. do that. Yeah. We'll check the VOD. <laughs> that's cool. I, I don't want any gobby swag, though. That's all you, baby. No, bro, it's, it's okay. You. It's okay. All you. We'll run it back. We'll, we'll do like a, I don't know, we'll see. A little rewind. Play by play. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I play. I love a good I some weed from your grind. Would you oh retire God, really? in Hawaii? Oh, yes, but I would need a large sum of money. Uh, expensive. Hawaii is expensive. Um, Hawaii is very expensive. And also, I dream of living in a place that's affordable when I retire. Mm. Um, because I. What if you just got it like that? Oh, then, yeah, it's. Uh, I, would, <laughs> I would move to Kauai. Um, yeah, Kauai is fucking beautiful. Oh, it's God. like one of the least developed, but not so undeveloped one- that like, you can't. One road. Exist easily. What? Like yep. after 8 p.m. the lights are going out pretty dark. Oh. <coughs> Just part of the deal. Yeah. Um, but for me, I would get a little ranch out there. Oh I would God. get like those little furry baby mini cows. Fuck yeah. Mini cows. Yeah, they're not big and they're like furry. I know, I know exactly looking. what you're talking about. I see them on the internet. They're all <laughs> silly. They're all silly. They're How like, much is one of those going for? <clears throat> I mean, they can't be a couple bands. I mean, they can't be too crazy. No, the, I think you're tripping. I think it's more. The maintenance is probably $10, the hard part. Cow. Not a lot of people really can like take like heady cows, bro. Like, I think there is a heady cow industry that like, you're sleeping on, bro. And I'm down. I will pay. I'll pay the price. If I have it like oh we're talking, God. I'll buy yeah, the heady yeah. cow. He's got like a one-on-one cow. Oh, for sure. Damn. Oh, my God. Um, for sure. Bro. And like, I'll be paying the top tier groomer, keeping it to like... Because for me, like if my heady cow... Would you cow, go to the shows and like show off the heady cow? No, because like then you're just bragging. 
Mm. No, no, you're not. Like, you're recouping your investment. No, my you cows are cuddling. <laughs> okay, well, you could do that in the off hours. Cows got to work somehow, bro. No. Nah. Pay some fucking bills. No, nah, this is my little, little my guy. This is my guy. It's my a special lady. cow. Like, no, I mean. Hey. Would you eat him? This is, after, this is how I'm replacing <laughs> <laughs> Would you eat him? Yeah, true. After all is said and done. No, but the dogs would. Then the meat's old. Oh. You got to eat them young. Yeah, it's going to be the dogs would, right? You know, it's not my cup of tea, but, you know, like, I'm not going to say no. Like, <laughs> part of the deal, but. You treat it nice and everything. Yeah, a little, oh. a little ranch in Kauai would be nice for me. That's honestly such a fucking great pick. I've I would, never heard of Kauai. I'd probably be a neighbor. That sounds lit. Wow. Yeah, I mean. Wow. That sounds lit. Dude. It's, Kauai is such a, I, I've only been to Kauai in the Big Island, and Kauai is like, it's so much more peaceful. Wow. It's just so quiet. Like, yeah, I mean, quiet. Is there's literally so one. It's, it's it's one road. Ah, we're making Dude. T-shirts. It's one road. Like Bro, it's it's around the whole there. fucking island. It's so Why chill. You build your own road. Yeah, it's like, I'd probably get in trouble, bad, especially dude. me because I'm white. They'd be like, yeah, what are you doing, yeah, white man? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're just like, dude, you're using the Zuckerberg playbook. <laughs> Yo, isn't, so so he, he owns a fat part of Kauai, right? What? I, th- I, I don't. I think like it's 200 fun. acres or some crazy it, yeah, shit. Yeah, it's like he has like this underground bunker. Yeah, he apparently. just started building yeah. that shit um, on Kauai too, which is gnarly. So everyone has different arguments about this. I'm going to try and take the smart one, which is... <laughs> Hi, Mr. Zuckerberg. I would love an invite. Um, please <laughs> don't ruin my life. Yeah. Um, but no, I mean, there, the way to acquire that much land in Hawaii is not legit. It's not easy. Like, Sounds You have sketchy. to know the laws. You have to do things in ways that probably aren't the nicest. Yep. Um, we won't say they're illegal, but they're probably not the nicest. Um, because old Hawaiian land was owned in groups by families. Mm-hmm. And it's supposed to, it's supposed, you, aren't you like to purchase land, don't you need to be a native of Hawaii? Not or? even that part. It's just like that this land has never been claimed by any of these families. Oh, trip out on that. They that's, just left it there, right? That's uh, fucking crazy. Um, because what? all of the families basically were like, no, this isn't meant to be developed. This is. Oh, just leave it natural. Just leave it natural. Oh, um, they just built a bunker in that. This bitch? is how the kingdom <laughs> basically was set. Tunnels? Um, Zaka got that land. Wow. And then he, yeah, he apparently built the tunnels. Oh my. So was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. It's all making sense. Oh. Look at his face. I'm just so His face by lit up. The video I saw of the dude climbing out it just was so funny. Bro. It's like it's, it's so it's that, funny. Dude, that, that video, bro, like family that video was so it, absurd. It does not so look absurd. real. Like, no, it looks like we're living in a fucking simulation, And then he bro. starts running away. I just like, find it so funny. Like, 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 are we not in a simulation? I don't know what's going on in the tunnels. I'm not commenting on that, but I just objectively find it fucking hilarious, bro. Like Casey Neistat. Make us a video. Bro. Get in the tunnel, bro. Get in the oh my tunnel. God. Do this, dog. Right? That would be Y'all remember that video that he vlog. made that went viral a few months ago, like of the sidewalk oh. breaking in? Oh, he was wait. Like, yeah, he was like, oh, there's shit down there. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> the, the craziest thing, though, is the people tweeting for like years. I swear I hear people speaking Yiddish that, yes. underneath. And I live on the ground floor. There's no one below me. And then the, the guy's next tweet. There's fucking Jewish people speaking below me. It sounds like they're digging. And it, and he, he retweeted it. And he's like, some of you motherfuckers owe me an apology. I'm not fucking crazy, bro. Bro, I'm wondering if that's someone. That's so insane, dude. Like, that's so insane to have to fuck. Like, you're just. Can you imagine you're like tripping on shrooms in your apartment? You live on the ground floor. There's nothing below They're you. They're just whispering. Like, but you hear fucking like Hebrew yeah, or some shit. You're like, floorboards. You're like, what Bro, the fuck the, is the, going the guts on? Guts to build a tunnel. The balls. Like, the balls. The <laughs> like, biggest city in the world. The structural I mean, integrity. Dude, that shit could just. Structural integrity can't be good. No. They're no, smart. They probably had some smart people looking. Come They're on. smart. Probably had some fucking engineers look at it. Come on, man. They didn't. They, didn't reinforce they can't it. be like the El Chapo breakout tunnels. They've got to be. More they didn't look that good, that. actually. They look a little like, sketchy. They're going down yeah. there in suits. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely a well dug tunnel. They're not getting the bitches dirty. And they've been up for Are years. You they've been up for like four years. They look very clean. Yeah, that, that, that tunnel. Spotless. They, they built them. <laughs> they built them in 2020. But you see the video of the tunnel doesn't look that like <laughs> like the El Chapo tunnels looked better dug. It was weird. Yeah, but there was like dirt. I bet they got it. The like tropical paved tunnels had shit, to fit bro. eighteen wheelers. They probably got it paved. It looks like the, like the French catacombs, <laughs> <in> that bitch. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I mean, that's the part nobody understands, right? Like that's the reason funny. the tunnels are a certain size is like they had to fit the truck. We got to drive. <laughs> and that's like, crazy. Like, tunnels. That's not true. I was tunnels. Like, oh, okay. tunnels are crazy. Dig a tunnel, like no one's gonna stop us. Let's yeah. What? Should we just we build a pine park tunnel? Pine park tunnel. To where? 
to each other's houses. We just got like, whoa, that's a far <laughs> tunnel. <laughs> Imagine we like, holy shit, the that's a far tunnel. tunnel. Like, sorry, guys, like, we'll <laughs> dig below. Oh, yeah, we're like, oh, sorry, yeah, cartel. We'll, we'll go down, we'll go down, we'll go down. It's our bad. If we do it right. In Kauai, we could get somehow there might be like a lava tube somewhere we could like. <laughs> oh, we could pre use? Use that's pre built. That's kind of gas. A little sketchy. Damn. A little sketchy, though. I don't, could could the lava tube be used again? Yeah, like can it refill with lava? I don't think so. I'm lava scared. Tube. <laughs> like the, the, <laughs> I'm scared <laughs> by. I don't know. Barney's, I don't think so. I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, I mean, <laughs> he's got to put a bucket of water <laughs> on it and then it'll If the volcano's good. still yeah, active, yeah. then yes. But like if it's a not active volcano, then you're It's good. Hawaii. They're all fucking, aren't they? They're active, right? Not all of them. Well, the big Yo, one is. How many? Big island? That's not the island we're talking about. Real yeah. shit, though. When is the yellow? Close enough, dog. Yo, it's going to be so hype when it does. Okay, look, question. Not for us. No, 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 but question. For would us. you would you would you want to see the end of the world in your lifetime? Or would you like Fuck no. What? Or you want to just live out the life? <laughs> well, you want to be a human. So, I don't so I just imagine I how many see the end of the world. No, how many humans yeah, have there ever so. existed? Would you be like the world's gonna end at some point, right? Well, here's, here's I'll leave it to would my you want to be selfie shit right Would you want to be one of the humans? I'm asking Hell a question. Nah. Here's the problem. The world's gonna end. Oh, we're getting You're taking a selfie? Serious. Do you want like a chance to be the one that saves it or something. I don't want to be the last one. I don't want to right. fucking say I don't want to be yeah, the last one either. I don't, I'm not down up. for this. I'm just asking a question. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I see. We thought well, that I'm was throwing, asking I'm throwing you a though. hypothetical. Fuck. I was asking so you, you No, I don't so want to say it. What the fuck? I don't want a chance to save so the world. What am I, Superman? What the a, fuck? You have a kid. You could be. Yeah, I don't want the world to end. I'm asking a question. We no, we think you believe in the question. I mm. I don't. I don't mm. want I don't want the fucking world to end. I'm just a hypothetical question out here. Are you gonna answer that they're psychotic? I might. Like you're psychotic if you answer that. Like I want, yeah, I'd love to be the last part of humanity. I think that's crazy. It's someone's Sometimes, going to be, you know, which is crazy. Would be fun for the first couple. Days. So like I'm Elon sure Musk wants to be sure. the last person. You know, like he's on some weird I mean, shit. That's scary. I would you wouldn't survive. Eat myself to death. Like just eat like yourself finding, to death. Like find the Twinkies and just. Oh, like with food. I thought you meant like no. eating yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh no, what part you die? Yeah, like, what? Pass your arm. I'm not dealing with that bullshit, bro. I've seen Walking Dead. Those deaths are brutal. Nope. They are brutal. Well. You're just gonna kill yourself with the zombie apocalypse? Yeah, but other apocalyptic scenarios, I'd probably tough it out. I'd try. Like if there, if a nuke went off and like you, I try in that scenario. Yeah. I'd See, the problem with that is you're gonna starve to death. Probably. Fuck. No, I'm gonna be looting. I'm gonna turn into a bandit. No. You ain't looting shit, bro. You getting shot, dog? I have guns. I don't know. What if you like man. throw? A, When's the last yeah, time you like shot your gun? Arm and shit in the radiation. How often do you, How often do you practice? A lot. I used to go like a couple times a week. Okay, that's lit. Good. I'm a decent good, good shot. Right. I, got, I'm I'm decent shot. Like, I gotta ask. I don't know. I'm not a shot. Some people, some people just own I'm guns not, and I'm don't shoot them. Shot. I'm not oh, a bad okay. shot either. Can we do Pine Park Ghost shooting? Absolutely. I have a test. Yeah, tool. for sure. Absolutely, we can. Dude, does everybody have guns? 100%. You have a gun? Can. Never mind. I know the answer to this question. I'm so sorry. You see my Desert Eagle. Can you still shoot guns? 44 because 50 is illegal. You go to the range? I like, okay. Hold. I only have like one more month of that. You can convert it to 50 legal. That's fire. Oh, yeah. But you have a Desert Eagle. I do. Why? What? So when I was moving. That's my second favorite gun. No, so listen. When I was moving here, okay, I had to... Like either store, I stored most of my illegal like rifles and bigger guns at my mom's house. His legal like, in gave, Chicago. I gave legal mom. in Chicago. Yeah, yeah hold, on, hold on, hold yeah, on. The, 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 the phrasing, yeah, yeah. phrasing so, on that sucks guns, ass, bro. I, I had some guns that weren't legal in California, Thank but you. were okay. legal in Illinois. Gotcha. So I couldn't possess them here. So I gave them, I gifted them to my mom. So okay. Like you know, I, I transferred them. So they're at, her. They're, they're at the mom's crib. Yeah, they're at my mom's house. Guess. Right. She's she's toting all my guns. She's got an AR. Fucking she's got a KSG from Black Ops. The shotgun. <laughs> from Black Ops. Um, she's got a couple shotties. She's got like a, a rifle. Like a pull up, player. dude. Pull up. Uh, yeah, she's got some shit, bro. My mom's toting right now. Yeah, don't be going uh, after that house. They were, yeah, yeah. My mom's locked the fuck in. Well, that's fucking um, amazing. And I sold my pistols that I couldn't bring. You can't have shit in California. Can't have shit. Can't have shit. And I was looking on the list of guns that are approved here, and I saw the 44 Desert Eagle, and the shop that <laughs> I was at had one in bronze. So it's not silver, it's bronze. So it's like- You have a bronze sexy. Desert yeah, Eagle. Bronze yeah. desert. <laughs> um, so it was like two grand. What kind of cartel shit and, are we buying, uh, dude? No, it was just, it was 1900. It was just under two grand. Should have got it gold plated. Um, <laughs> dude, I was, I was thinking about it actually. Our old anodizing partner for Cubis could have done it, but oh, he was slow sure as fuck. Yeah, so took we, didn't, we didn't pay him to do it because he, he was jagging on Oh, us. that's so funny, um, dude. But I, I sold a bunch of my pistols that weren't legal here and bought that. Okay. Dub. 
Yeah, so that's that a like dub. A, like a perfect trade off. <laughs> and then I just brought like two of my guns that were legal here. That. There it is. The Deagle store. Damn, it shoots 44, huh? It's a mm-hmm. pretty big bullet. Mm-hmm. I want to shoot a 50. I've never even seen one. Them bitches. Are I don't think my shoulders could take it. <gasps> I'm getting old, man. We need to go to the range. 50s are wild. We need and to go to the range. And a pistol, too. And a pistol. Like, yeah, Pine Park goes to the range. This is happening. Um, you ever shot like full automatic? No. We, oh, I was like, we're in California. We got to go to Florida, baby. We're going to jail. Texas. Vegas. 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 You can do it in Texas. Yeah, we for sure should go to Texas. Can we Fuck. do it in Nevada? You can do it in Vegas, right? No. Yeah. You can, right? Nevada Probably. is pretty loose gun laws. I think you can. Yeah, I got, you know, I got a spot for us to stay in Nevada. So, like, come on now. Ooh. Shoot some guns. Well, at least for me and Tim, we can bring the babies. Y'all are gonna have to go down the strip and be disgusting like normal. That's yeah. Go, go be some degenerate Slime fucks, all right? We yeah, got babies. Cool. I've yeah. been to a casino with you two now. I know what it looks like. Yeah, we're good. Hey, yeah, hey. you know. Yeah, I've been to Vegas in a while, man. We're going later this month. Okay, so after you go to Vegas, don't come near me for like three. Yeah, weeks, the so bed bugs. Wait, are we going later this month or starting next month? End of this month. Into this. They'll month. kill the bed bugs by then. They'll kill the bed bugs. No, you guys are going. You're well, going. Do you want to come? I no, mean, <laughs> Brian's like, well, kind of. I mean, kind of. <laughs> come on, bro. It's Eric's birthday. It's my twenty-fifth birthday. Nice. And Glass Vegas and Hash Vegas, oh. all in one oh. little oh. day span. Oh. 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 This might sound like work. Yes. We're so locked in. We're not even gonna gamble. Like... I swear. I mean, I'm I'm just working. Yeah, that's right. Lots of work. Good Hanging though. out with you guys, which counts as work. That is work, man. God, I love work. <laughs> as well. Can I steal some marijuana? Please. Oh, my God. I ground it all up for you. Never oh, did. you're okay. Thank you. Get him a little bit of cannabis, man. Get him a little bit of cannabis. Oh, cannabis. shit. What did you smoke this year that you like, Mr. Eric? Um, I smoked my first jars of Feel Good. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That stands out. All those are fire. Fucking um, a lot of donuts this year. A lot of donuts. Sturts, for sure, stand out. Shout out Sturt Doinks, baby. Motherfucking, uh, like the last month, December, I was smoking a lot of bonsai tree. Bonsai tree. Oh, bonsai tree. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was smoking a lot of them. Uh, Feel Good put me on the bonsai tree, actually. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, that's, that's how, how, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I fell into that world. Um, I think we have one of those Doinks around here somewhere. Whoa. Um, Doinks that tree is fire. Whoa. Yeah, there's. tree is very fire. I'm really, really stoked on like the the Asian weed influence. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah. Fuck yeah. Um, there wasn't a lot of people back in the day, at least not like that would could publicly be seen, right? Like, yep. There was a lot of people out there trying to do the same thing, but it's cool that everybody's coming out now and getting to meet each other and be like, "No shit, that's you." Mm. You're like, "Oh fuck, that's rad, bro! You've been making an awesome product for such a long time." No, it's all like you can see a face on it. Legal. And like, just you know, it's it's cool to be able to put like the face to the artist. Mm. Because, um, like, you know, I try and I call the hash people artists now. They like it that way. Mm. Very, very boutique. That's very, I, like that. I don't know what else to call them. Um, what would you call your hash expert? Because, yeah. like, calling them a washer doesn't sound good. Yeah, hash maker. Call them a maker. A maker. A, ba- a maker? I yeah, maker. Baker hash. <laughs> a maker <laughs> of you hash. You get into the house to make shoes before you wake up. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they make stuff. They're, art, they're artists. You're right. Yeah, okay, right. Artists. Like a, if like a if like a like subway a, person is going to be called a sandwich artist, then I feel like yeah. they should be called a. Hash okay, artist, wait. You know? Are you actually calling a subway employee a sandwich artist though? It says it on their tag, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sandwich artist. It's a no, sandwich the only artist I know work at Jimmy John's, bro. Those motherfuckers do real art, bro. I had Jersey Mike's yesterday, and I was disappointed as shit. Whoa! What? Is there that big of a difference? What was disappointing about it, man? The bread. Don't mm. even get me started. The bread Don't is very crucial on a sandwich. Maybe Jimmy the most John, crucial listen, part Jimmy of John's, a sandwich. They sell their day old loaves for 50 cents. And you can go in there and get a big ass, like longer than a foot, like 16 inch loaf for fucking 50 cents, bro. Damn. And you can make sandwiches out of it and the bread carries. Like their bread is what makes it. It's different. I'm not gonna lie. That's a really great statement. The bread making the sandwich is a, mm-hmm. that is a that, strong it's important. It's important. statement. Gotta have yeah, good bread. Like more, um, you like more bread or insides for your sandwiches? Are you like a 50-50 ratio kind of person? Less bread? I like good ratio. It can't be more than like 60% bread because then it gets yeah, a little facts, weird. Yeah, facts, yes, facts, yes. facts. Once, it's, bread once it starts getting like six, if you get like a 70% bread ratio, yeah, you're you like, tell, too. Well, you what is it? Yeah. Like freaking out. 
Yeah. Like I've had some really fluffy a French bread. Then I need them to like, stuff that sandwich. That you can, like when you squeezed it down, it wasn't that big. It compresses? Like, okay. Yeah, okay, that's fine then. It's airy. Okay, see, but then it's not really, yeah, so you're, you're squeezing it out so it gets smaller. But like I'm not trying to squeeze it out. I'm but it just happens. It. But it just yeah, happens, just, yeah. <laughs> that's acceptable. The sound you're looking mm-hmm. for right now. That's acceptable. But that's, I, I mean, but I'm, I'm like, I would say 50 50 on sandwich for sure. Like, I would take, I would like a little yeah, more inside br- rice over bread. As You're well. a little more inside. Too much inside is, is too much. Once you get to like 70 30 inside the bread, yeah, Ooh, yeah, whoa, yeah, whoa, yeah. Whoa, 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 like triple meat, anything. Yeah, I hate, I, I don't, if anybody gets triple meat, fuck you, dude. That's what? so wild. Those are my favorite sandwiches. Triple no, meat. no, no, no. I like no. the clubs with the added like extra meat, bro. No, no so you tell them to put the three meat. times the normal amount of meat. Or just three oh, different. Oh, no, I mean like three different. No, three different is cool. Three is fine. Three, no, no, no. Oh, okay, I think you mean like triple. Oh, no, no, oh, no triple whoa, the whoa, amount, whoa. bro. They're fucking. Maybe double, maybe double it, but shit. Double's cool on sometimes. Yeah, yeah cool. double's okay. Double's, double's not cool. crazy. But, but triple, triple, you're like people, fucking you're like, freaking that's, out. I didn't even know that was an option. That's you're a crazy. freak. <laughs> like the person who eats a triple meat sandwich is the same person who loves Arby's. Oh. Where do we put Arby's at on the list? You just dissed a whole Arby's fucking. Arby's is fire, by the way. Oh, there you go. Dude. We were just talking about this. And I'm like, I'm from Hawaii. And there were really some know, Arby's, Arby's haters in the room, and I'm not going to throw any. I think we rated Arby. I, no, he hates Arby's for sure. Arby's, I don't hate it. Arby's I just said Canes was better, and y'all were freaking out. Canes is dog y'all shit. Would you Watch the tier list video. Okay, so. Canes uh, is literally. These the are the only two options. We're going to Arby's. All three of us are going to Arby's, right? Over it's Canes. fucked up to say, but I'm saying Arby's. Let's go! Uh, Eric, you're coming to Arby's, Arby's bitch. Canes is for kids. It's so. Get your fucking <laughs> chicken tendies out of here. Line, bro. I, I like tendies. chicken tenders. I love tendies. Yeah, but not Canes but bullshit Canes ones. But doesn't have that great of sauces. Mm-hmm. I can get oh! The- Eric is pissed right no, now. No. <laughs> Barney, you're That's so like the opposite. fucking right. That's like you're the opposite so of right. I'm so glad that you're <laughs> here to say this right now. Because I've been slandering Canes for years. I'm Kane's a proud Canes mid, hater. Canes oh, is shit. fucking mid. I'm not eight years old. I don't want tendies. All right? With mid sauce. I right? just, I, 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 I love it. I love this fucking shit. I mean, you shit, know right? that Canes isn't that good because this whole giant Dave's Hot Chicken Nashville thing has happened mm-hmm. because they're, everyone is dying for seasoned. Real tendies. chicken. <laughs> real chicken. Not even real chicken, yeah. just seasoned tendies. Like, he throw said some they flavor got no on seasoning it. Yeah. Like, thing. It literally tastes like a, I, I, I can get Canes in the frozen section at fucking Ralph's. Bro. Like, that's how I feel. Like, I can just go grab chicken tendies from there, Listen, throw them no, in the air so fryer. That's unfair. It's the same shit. No, it's that's the same unfair. quality. It's that's dog shit. It is. That's, it's that's not unfair. good. It's not no, good. No, Canes has at least, it's got some chicken texture to it. Like, don't. It does not. Okay, but you can no, get the chicken texture crazy. out of the ass. If you lined up five tenders, you'd be impressed by we should. Tenders. We should do that. All right, we Blind will at some point. We're doing that. Yeah, 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 we're doing that. Pepsi challenge. Pepsi challenge. Chicken tendies. Canes in there. We're doing it. We're doing it. Cage, we have to do it. KFC, Popeyes, fuck. We have to do frozen. it. Whoever, whoever, yeah, Frozen for sure. We'll do like the, the good mythical morning motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. Blindfold yeah, yeah, yeah. action. Have yeah. a good mythical trust, morning. Trust, yeah, trust. Yeah, yeah. Dude. Okay, so I have what faith are the, in my canes. What's the competition for canes? I don't know, exactly. bro. Dave's Hot Chicken? No, no, that's not No one fair. wants to compete with no, no one. No one, tendies, no one has a dude. shitty fucking restaurant like that. Chick-fil-A. <laughs> we just make, we just make no, chicken no, no, that's tendies. That's not competition because they serve actual chicken. Yeah, they make fucking other shit. Canes is just tendies on everything. The sandwich is I, just I'm so in with Goblin on, on this. It's ridiculous. It's only <laughs> tenders. Okay, like, so then are you giving the same hate for Dave's Hot Chicken? No, because Why? Dave's has chicken breast on the sandwich. Yeah, exactly. Multiple. It's not just tendies. Like they make different forms of They make chicken. tendies. They make sandwiches. Boom. Two so, options. So but the sandwiches were previously just tendies if on Kane's bread. If Kane's had a yeah, real sandwich, bullshit. we you can't could do talk that. like serious. But they don't, bro. They just put two tendies All, on bread. Okay, so if this is your reason, I'm with Eric. <laughs> no, I don't think it tastes good. That's my reason. Specialization yeah, should not be no, punished. no, no. That's but like that's, and no, but they that's just one of the reasons right. I just they don't just make cheeseburgers though. They don't just make cheeseburgers though. Hold on, hold on. Are average as fuck. There's nothing that stands out about them, and they're carried by the sauce. There's no flavor without the sauce, and the sauce is nothing that special. Okay, so I think the tendies are pretty good. I'm more complaining about the sauce. Yeah, when you said you didn't like the sauce, I was like, damn, I feel like that's the only thing people like about Canes. We all agree that Canes has problems, though. Agree. A lot of problems. (laughs) And like, if I'm picking Arby's over Canes? Yeah. Arby's is objectively better than Canes. Arby's Arby's wins. Arby's has more options. Arby's wins. It's, It's also the sauce. Yes, Arby's sauce is oh. to, better if, than Cane's. If you had to fries, eat, you can dip them in any of that. If you had to eat an Arby's raw, no sauce, or Cane's raw, no sauce, which would you choose? Cane's. 
I'd probably go Kane's really? though. Really? Because yeah, Arby's is is not that good without the sauce. No, the, no, Arby's no sauce. sauce that Arby's I'd be drenched in my <laughs> fucking... My roast beef sandwich is drenched in fucking Arby's okay, sauce. Okay, well, but you don't have to get the roast beef. They have other stuff. Oh, yeah, that's true. Fuck, they, they have, have a like, burger. They actually have a lot no, of I'm options. No, only go, I'm they only going roast beef. Like, I'm Do you not, get the beef and cheddar? Like, I'd probably get a beef and cheddar and some curly fries. And just like, whoa. You just raw dog. You have to eat that bitch. Just that gray beef. That gray beef, dog. Yeah, just some gray beef. Psychopath. <laughs> that changes everything. <laughs> Meat and bread, you just load it with what sauce? What sauce do you put on? Whatever the, the Arby sauce. sauce is. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't even know what it is. What is Arby <laughs> sauce? What is Arby sauce? That's so like Yeah, a, cane sauce is just like mayonnaise and like a little you can tell it's, it's like, like a little spicy some zesty. Bullshit, bro. Maybe some lemon some bullshit. All right. I don't know. Cane doesn't have good. like a great barbecue. They don't have a sweet and sour. Like they're buffaloes. I can make a better sauce at my house. Like, at yeah. you get cane sauce, you go fuck it. <laughs> no, I'm getting, the, the screwed up part is right now this is the only part that's sad is right now I don't want Arby's I want Cane's I would Canes. go on Arby's right now Cane's I'm so good <laughs> like on so the way straight. home I know exactly where the Cane's is and I'm probably gonna make Canes it stop has the best, no I'm so straight Cane's has the Canes. best bread and fast food the All right, best bro, bread thanks. Shots fired. <laughs> the best Shots bread. Fired. Yeah, exactly. Like who's who else, competition? Who else? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Sure. Exactly. That's, that's, the, only that's the best reason, one. That's the best though, one. What do they sell? Listen. Fucking Texas toast or some shit? Yeah, literally. It's that's good. what I was about it's to say, good. bro. Bro, I could buy that and fucking. I can go make Texas toast, toast and it's better. Yeah, fuck. You could probably make a sandwich better than a lot of places too. All right. Nah. No, J- not Jimmy nah. Johns. <laughs> not Jimmy Johns. And not Subway because you need an artist. To make Definitely that. not. You can't get any no. gray roast Subway. beef, man. Come on. Dude, you're not an artist, bro. Like, you don't, All right, you let don't me lay it out. Title. Subway needs to up the meat game. I'm just going to throw it out. No, because in the sandwich, it's going like to be 46 bucks. I'd like to see a Head Subway collab. <coughs> it's like mids <coughs> plus like mids plus. You know, mm. Boar's Head, I feel like I don't even know how to describe it. It's like I still taste the DNA in the meat. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's very like, primal. I still yeah, you're tasting the chemicals for sure. The DNA yeah, I don't, I don't, in the meat. I don't think it's the primalness. I think it's the chemicals. Probably. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't know. Well, I don't... Whatever it may be. You Shout know, out Boar's Head. Um, yeah. Give us a sponsor box or something. Change our mind. Damn, that'd be yeah, sick. please. Like a little sign. They just sent us like one pack of meat. They're just like, try it. <laughs> Here's a sample. If you don't pack. like it, fuck off. We sent you all of ham. You're like, oh. Boar's We're like fake enjoying it on the pod head. for the sponsorship. We're like, this is so good. This is delicious. I love all of this ham. Is, oh my God. You gotta ask the crazy question right here, man. Uh, what would ruin your day worse at an amusement park? Being stuck on a ride upside down, having to take a major dump. You can just oh. let it go. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, right? Let it rip. Wait, if you're upside down, would it like slide down your back? Yeah. Or like, oh! Oh! <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. That's why. Uh-huh. Would you want it to go like in front of you we or need, behind we you? We need the other behind option. Behind, for sure. <laughs> we need the other option. You're shitting wasn't upside there, down. Wasn't there two? Oh, yeah, my bad. Uh, it could be diarrhea with no telling how long you could be stuck up there. Or... You're waiting on a long line and you hear a bunch of commotion behind you. There's bumping and pushing. And when you're finally able to see what it is, it's Wait, too late. What? Yo, what is this what is scenario? This? What? what is Josefo? this scenario? Josefo. Josefo. What the bro? Josefo be just in the middle of the night, right? Wait, some wild you shit. shit on your back or get nutted on? Yeah, the second part. <laughs> what the f- What? Some creep with his dick out. He busts all over the side of your leg. And get some on your hand. What the fuck? Reaction. Why is it on your hand? Dude. <laughs> then what makes your all day right, worse? First off, theoretically, I, I'm getting out of line. But like, <laughs> first I, off, I'm fucking fighting the dude that's bro, yeah, coming I'm on people. What the home. fuck? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm beating not, the shit out of the guy that's damn. trying to come on people in the fucking amusement park. <laughs> <laughs> That guy's getting. Yeah, why are people running away from him? That guy's getting <laughs> KO'd, bro. Just, what the fuck? Are honestly, you kidding me? KO that socks guy. Up and I'm going. This is such a curveball in like today's episode. Like we were just having like a normal talk. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on. I tried to avoid it and then it got copy and pasted again. <laughs> oh my god. Um it's crazy. Insane stuff. Even even Maddie thinks that's what disgusting. F- uh, yeah, that's a crazy question, um, man. I have no response to that. I'm obviously gonna take the poop. I guess um, yeah. because it's mine. Yeah, I guess. Um, a little dumpy. I, I guess. Otherwise. Yeah, I'm, I'm out. Yeah, I'm doing the poop. I oh, I ashed on myself because of this question. <laughs> mm. oh, Distracted. A lot of it too. A lot of it. Massivo. What I the just, fuck uh, is this? Is kind of speedo. What's hey, happening? what Whoa, the what hell is this? Is this a field? What is happening here? Oh, we're washing. 
Oh, what the oh, fuck no. sport what, is wait, this? Oh, how did he just grip her? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, how did he grip on that is the most oh, craziest question. <laughs> what? How did he grip that? <laughs> yeah. What sport is this? Oh. You think you can take a gold medal in Yo. this, uh, Eric? Huh? Gold medal? You want to represent Pine Park? Oh, my God. Sure. Uh, Pine oh, Park. dude, you got to hit that one right there. Oh, that my God. That is crazy. <laughs> Who invents this sport? They're like, we don't have much to Bro, do. Bro, in India, it's literally they don't have much to do We're just going to put a sand in the money. Sports. They got slap boxing. They Look got at their field, shit. bro. Look at their field. It's like a bunch of like tarps on. And, like, I just don't even know. <laughs> How do you invent tarp. this? How do you invent this as a sport? Wow, he killed that, though. What is landing? That opening move was kind of impressive. No, he popped the fuck off. You were making fun of your uh, wife who used to strip, and you're like, we can do that, too. <laughs> <laughs> your homie comes in, you're like, no, no, it's a real sport, bro. It's, sport. it's, it's, a, it's a real sport. It's, this is athletic. It's uh, different. Oh, this one was, dude, this video is crazy, oh, man. Oh, I haven't Look seen at it. this fool on the bottom. Oh, give us a big. Oh, he's on oh, drugs. We Wakes lit, up, baby. Wakes up, and he's like, fuck it. Oh, we shit. We are real geekers. Oh, shit. Look at the geek way. We oh, are real shit. Almost fucking eliminate oh. someone. Oh. Like an inch away from eliminating someone. Bro. He's unemployed immediately. Look Wait. at this dude. He's awake, though. Look at the drugs, drugs, baby. He was even try to fucking... grab the wheel. He's looking. He tried to look at his cell phone. He was like, what the fuck? He was cooked. He's like, where oh, am I? He's like in the he, air. Yeah, he didn't. He got scared awake. <laughs> okay, have you guys seen that one where the kid is simulating that he's Please. going down the hill in the car? Uh-uh. You guys, oh, God, it's the fucking best. But it's like, it look, this looks like a sim. That guy was fucking cooked. Dude, I, I want to know what he was off of. Because he was like kind of conscious. Probably meth for the last four days. <laughs> Bro, myth. that's a real geeker. That's it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, oh I saw this dude, video yeah, this video. No, this is so Wait, bad. Wait, what's happening? What's happening? You'll see. What do you mean you'll see? Barney. What's happening right Barney, now? Look. Barney, what's, look. What's happening right now? Barney, look. Oh! <laughs> Fuck! Was there like 40 rats in that? Was he fucking, what is he doing with the rat? Was he a rat man? Dude, dude I don't know. You can see a couple scurry away in the beginning. Why are we doing it again? Dude, it's a oh lot of them. My. Look at him just oh. fucking. Holy shit. Nah, dude, that, that, guy, that guy probably be training those rats, bro. He's on some crazy Bro, he's shit. got a squad of them. He said, all right, go. He's Where are the turtles? Gather yeah, loot for me. I can taste them. There's four turtles for every rat. You can taste them. Look at my that. mouth. There's like a, like I can taste the rats. I had whatever. mice in my house. Uh, whatever, and, uh, whatever a rat would taste like. That was bad. No, those are rats, though. Yeah, rats dude, are dude that's like the plague running around. Those are fucking rats, bro. Fucking dude, only one cool rat ever, and you had turtles. Yeah, exactly. That gave me the chills. I did not. I did not <laughs> like that video. Right comments, yeah. baby, let's comments. go. Comments, what you got for us, Lorenzo? Wait, from we're doing more comments. Didn't we learn our lesson already? I, all right, we're all right. They're killing I don't know it. If it's just no, 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 no. That, that wasn't. A that comment. was just a story written I by Josefo. Wrote, wrote that. that. Was, oh. Yeah, that wasn't. Josefo was like this. I got a scenario I thought of when I was on mushrooms the other day. Uh, <laughs> he was like, I wonder. <laughs> he shit themselves are getting nutted on. He just like wrote. He's like, I need to know like, what the boys think. Wow. <laughs> Uh, what do we got here? I hear Lorenzo. Honestly, I smelled weed in the house when I was 12. Never thought anything of it until yeah. one day I was skating and saw some teens skating as well. I <laughs> feel so funny. I asked to join them and we ended up at a park. They pulled the pipe out. Not whoa, the pipe. Whoa. Hit it. Oh and that familiar God. smell hit my nose. Oh, shit. They were like, that's what daddy be doing. Right. Oh. Pass it to a 12 year old. <laughs> Fuck. Shout out those kids. I Damn. told them I smelled <laughs> Yeah, wait, how old were these other people? Fuck, I told them I smelled that before, <laughs> and they told me my childhood was good. I smelled that growing up. They told me it was weed, and I asked if I wanted a hit. I said, nah, and started smoking not even wait. a couple months later. I thought they offered him a hit. He said he hit the pipe, right? Wait. They pulled hit the pipe it, out, hit no, it. No, they, they, they hit it. Oh. He just, it, he, they, they okay, knew okay. the smell. They yeah, the yeah, smell. that makes yeah. sense. Okay. Let me send you this little <coughs> video right now, Josefo. Speaking to 12-year-olds. Whoa. 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 Not whoa, on my Jeffrey Epstein whoa. shit. Not on my Jeffrey Epstein whoa. shit. Whoa. Hey, Jesus no, Christ. Barney, the flight this list, way bro. a little bit, No dude. Jeffrey, no Jeffrey. No Jeffrey. No Jeffrey. No Jeffrey. <laughs> no, dude. Maybe no Jeff, Chan. no Jeff. <sighs> oh, it's probably Eric Chan on the list for sure. He's got the mustache and the hat on, dude. He's like, oh, it would never be me. It's not to be me. <laughs> he's Italian. He's an Italian now. <laughs> oh my God, what is happening here? What, you what the? I'm over here chilling on my lunch. Look at these kids got. What is hey, that? How old are you? Oh, what they got? I'm 12. 
said 12. They got beatboxes. Look at them. They got the whole box. Where do you guys get it from? You guys got it from that store right there? <laughs> what is it? Is it liquor? Yeah, they're little beatboxes. These are like what's a beat, like, like, what's a beatbox, them, bro? They're like uh, four locos. They're like, oh, they're like okay, twelve percent. Okay, like okay. one will probably get you drunk. Yeah, but they're getting oh, dude, a half of one. Will get yeah. <laughs> bro, we, we, we know how lightweight I am. Dude, bro, I'm, I'm driving. They're, they're, they're getting one? cooked, dude. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't, I don't drink, man. <laughs> He's like, I'm thirteen. He asked how old is so funny. I feel like that's not even like. That crazy of an age for that's this a shit, funny honestly, ass video, bro. I had homies in middle school who were doing this kind of shit. Oh, I was for drinking sure. and smoking by twelve and thirteen for sure. Right? And they're so proud. Yeah, of I smoked. I smoked weed at thirteen. Yeah. Hey, how old are you? Thirteen. I'm twelve. I'm twelve. I'm twelve. <laughs> I'm, 12. <laughs> said, I'm twelve. He threw it up. He's like, I'm twelve. <laughs> I don't know He's if I was down proud. to be recorded doing I it. I definitely though. did. Yeah, yeah, yeah proud as fuck. Like, my grandma would have <laughs> shit out of me. Bro. Hell no. I'm fucking through. I was definitely hiding. Like, I was trying to be the sneakiest person in the world yeah. smoking weed as a kid. Fuck that. Oh, yeah, dude. Like smoking with no shirt on? Every, uh, anything and everything. Don't get caught. Fuck that. You don't that. smoke with no shirt on anymore or what? I mean, dude, if I got to go see my baby, no, for sure. Now I still use all those, all the techniques. Yeah, see, that's a I trick. Learned. That's so funny. Yeah, this is a good one, actually. I, all the techniques I learned as a kid. To like keep smoke smell off of me, uh -huh. I have now had to reuse so that way I don't like absolutely drown my child in weed smell every day. Uh, it's mm. so fucking funny you said that because there's certain things to where I'm like, fuck, now I'm, I catch myself wearing like a, like a certain jacket or something that I could take off oh. before I go back inside. Oh, this, nice. is the, this is the one for me. I have to wipe off the resin from the big bong rips. Uh, Jeez. Um, because true. I have definitely kissed the baby's my head. Son's forehead. Ah! Um, and he smelled like bong rip afterwards. That's fucking. And awesome. I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, we're not doing that again, dog." That's, <laughs> that's fucking that's hilarious. Terrible. <laughs> when weed smells so much stronger too. So if you're smoking flour versus like dabs, it's definitely a big difference there with with the with the kid stuff. True. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Huge um, difference. You know, I'm, I'm a weed smoker. Yep. Like, yep. So I, day. I've, I've noticed. I've noticed it with, with like since I, I smoked this um, this turtle pie shit the last few days. Same thing. I'm like, fuck. I, re I smell like so much. I'm like. Washing the shit, out of my hands. <laughs> brushing my teeth because I'm like, holy fuck, dude! I'm like kissing the baby, and it's fucking smells like weed. turtle pie and green dog converted a ten year dabber to flower. Yeah, dude, it shit's fire. Wow. Damn, shit's fire. Not just any dabber, not some person who doesn't know, but that guy. It's good stuff. Man. It's actually, it's actually really good stuff. That they. I'm just it's such a yeah. wonderful thing because you've been smoking the weed for a while. Yeah. Um, but like, it just shows that you know, like even. For you, like you can change and people go through cycles and phases. Yeah. And, like everyone should keep trying new weed and trying things like, oh, I don't like that. Like fucking try it again. See. Like, yeah. Don't just like yeah. give up on like, hey, flower didn't work for me. Maybe that strain didn't right. work yeah, for you. Because certain, certain strains don't, don't give me the same result as this particular mm -hmm. thing, you know? So it's, it's definitely can be strain dependent, you know? 100%. 100%. What do you got for us? Has monkey 2897. Let's see. All dispensaries in my city. I don't know about the whole state in Michigan, by the way, that has, wait, by the way, that has medical, has recreational. You need some commas, motherfucker. And if you <laughs> medical shit. and you don't pay tax, but a lot of the products are the same, but some percentage higher, but I know percentage ain't matter. Uh, yo, this <laughs> paragraph is <laughs> fucking my brain up right now. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. God. Just run this Damn. bitch through an AI fucking thing and correct the paragraph real quick. Uh, only Holy thing fuck. for real matter, edible milligrams. But in Ohio, oh. I know you can get 600 milligram edibles if you medical. So for real, all you get <laughs> from medical is no tax and yeah. edibles waste from. Respect. Has Why is this? Hey. Respect. There you go. Facts, I guess. Yeah. Respect. Yeah, facts. facts. <laughs> Hell yeah. That shit, facts, brother. That shit, work that on the grammar, fucking, bro. Work you on spit, the grammar. Fuck, you spit, man. I have no good shit right there. On that. That's crazy. There's AI, bro. You can literally think AI <laughs> would have edited and made it nice. Just click a button. What you got for us, Jared? Let's, let's, let's see. hope we got let's some see. more shit from Jared over here. I'm a Massachusetts patient. And okay. go to Maine, hella, comma. Let's go. Let's go. Ah! Yeah, we got a comma. <laughs> Maine has some crazy hash and bud. Just gotta know where to go, not to some local bunk wax. <laughs> pretty sure weed has decriminalized. Whoa, whoa. Pretty, pretty sure weed was decriminalized in 1975 Wait, in Maine. All right, fact check that. So it's Hold always on. been popping. Is that a fact check? We got. Is that yeah, real? Let's fact check this up real quick. Real? Massachusetts or is it Maine? 1975. Maine decriminalized. He said though, not. Legalized, so maybe they didn't recriminalize it any time after that. Right? <laughs> Maine has been wild. <laughs> what out kind this whole of time. that seems insane, right? What kind of Google search is this? 19. 
Yeah, it doesn't even that says Manny. M A I N E. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god, he's not lying, dude. That's 1975. insane. June 1975, Maine became the third state to decriminalize. But did it stay the like that? Any yeah, amount of marijuana, two, then. yeah. What are the first two, and did it stay like that? Wait, it says any amount of marijuana, too. Now, this does this seems this seems not real. No, bro. It look, it is why does it real. say look again? It's, it's dot gov. It's a dot gov website. No, wow. I know, I know. It could have been, it's but like, did they did website. they change it again after that? If it's on dot gov, there's another two thousand and nine. There's nothing fake on those. So yeah, they did. No, never. <laughs> Yo, Barney, drink your fucking drink, dude. Pine Park bought that for fucking you. Fucking enjoy your drink right now. You bro. fucking sip that thing, fucking bro. Fucking enjoy it. Where's your drink? Ah, uh, right here. No sugar. Yeah, I don't know. So they decriminalize it here in seventy six. Drinking dirt water. Drinking piss cup. Not they legalized lie, medical in 99. What, you don't want it? And then they decriminalized again. Okay, hold on, hold on. So, so what'd they do? Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry, I missed that. I'm sorry. I was just, bro, bro. Bro. We got to tap in. <laughs> I'm tapped in. I'm locked. I'm locked. Uh, no, nah, they decriminalized it in 75. And okay. Then they didn't undecriminalize it. Medical marijuana in 99. And then they just. How, wait, so again. wait, why'd they have to re decriminalize it? What does that even mean? What does that mean? <laughs> Wasn't it already decrim? again. <laughs> They're like, we need some more right, votes. So here's what probably happened. Probably we need to hype up the fucking political party. With the medical marijuana bill. They probably in 19- Oh, okay, okay, maybe, maybe something got changed. They did some yeah. hemp stuff. They yeah, probably they made, made medical, it elite. Yeah. Maybe they made it fucking criminal again, unless you're a medical patient. Yeah, true. On some yeah. bullshit. Oh, that's actually hoey. Real hoey. We'll see. That's a little hoey. We'll but see. that's crazy. 1975. Damn. Thanks yeah. for letting us know, Jared. Hell fucking yeah, hey. Jared. That's we learn a little something new every day. It's a cool fact. What you got for John Phantom? House of Platinum here in Florida sells low end ounces for one twenty eight. I plan to go buy a little higher range today. It's like okay. one fifty eight for an ounce. Doctor Green Thumbs Latin Lingo Eights are fifty eight at Cookies near me in Tampa. Ooh. Even the bottom end of dispensaries now is better than what I was able to get in the early two thousands. I was introduced to quote Kind Bud. Hey, it's an old school smoker. Hell yeah, it's an old school smoker. So they're stoked that they can just get access. Honestly, yeah. like that's hype. The fact that they have access to decent bud that's legal is like a dub for them. So that's, hey, that's a, I'll take that as a win. That's good stuff right there. Shout out to you, Josh. Shout out to Florida, baby. Getting it going. 60 bucks yeah. for the eighth at cookies, though. Ouch. That's tough. I don't know. If we I'm got gonna... user IK5LX. Mm. What you got first? The yeah, medical man. dispos turn into adult Trish. use will fuck over yeah. medical patients. It happened in my state last year and raised prices on things. Plus, yep. medical patients aren't always prioritized yep. for adult use. I think in a year or two, it could improve when they get their things together. The nope. only thing I have the card, the only reason I have this card is because it makes my purchases untaxed. Nice. Yeah, but but this is exactly what we talked about last week. Yeah. And that's why we got these comments. So it's because the medical scene, whenever it, it's, it's very often when you get the recreational after, the medical scene just kind of gets yes. mm-hmm. happened in Illinois. Bloop. Swept mm-hmm. away. Happened in Illinois. In, you know, in yeah, what that. part of anything does the medical part mean it's supposed to be cheaper? This is America. Medicine costs a lot here. Yeah, so, but usually, I don't even know if it's. Che- I don't even. I'm not taxes. even worried about the cheaper thing or whatever. It's more like there was like a it's like access, higher quality right? selection for people for sure. Like in the medical, but also less everything, regulation. Everything was smaller batch. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Smaller batch, maybe whatever yeah. it was. I just feel like there was there was better options. Um, or maybe a, a, a wider variety of higher quality options than what you have in like the recreational stores today. And I feel like that gets swept whenever it goes recreational, just it, that the medical scene just gets swept. Yep. It just says peace later. But I don't know. I don't know if it necessarily means it should be cheaper. I think it'd be cool if they could figure out how to fucking insurance for weed though. That'd be dope. That would be mm. cool. Like medical marijuana insurance would be dope. That'd be super sick. That'd be oh fucking. Oh my God, that would be. Just Damn. like for medical, obviously it'd be recreational. It'd be a budget. You need to spend how much? I have no. Idea. I don't know. I don't know how that would yeah, work. We'll pay for you. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of those Randy Marshes with the testicles in the microwave. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Just wheelbarrow and those balls oh around. My God. I'd be going to get cancer screened every week. Like, you sure there's not a little in there? I need, yeah. up, I need to up my dose. He's like, give me something. I need dementia. Give me what, what's on the list. Just give me a little bit, man. I don't need a lot. Just yeah. like. Just enough, man. Fucking classic. Nowadays, some states you can just do whatever. I got back pain. Can't sleep. My toes oh, hurt. That's how it was when I, <coughs> like when I first got to California. I didn't even have to get the guy my driver's license. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I the doctors medical- out here were scandalous, dude. They're just like, yeah, you want your weed card? 
Yeah, it was like yeah. 140 bucks or 150 bucks when back I, then. I literally went for my 18th birthday. That was like, I was like, nice. oh, yeah. I was, I was like, like, I'm gonna go because I'm gonna get a, yeah. a bunch of dispensaries right now. Fuck yeah, nice. That's back when first time patient deals were. Oh, bro, it was lit. It's a crazy time back then. Huh? Lit. Yeah, I mean that was. You go spend spend money that double your fucking purchase. Sometimes you're like, holy shit, this is insane. What? It kind of felt like going to Costco the first time. Wow. We're like, they're like, dude, what? They give out samples. The samples at Weed were the greatest thing ever. I was like, this is fucking insane. Like how? Dabs. How are they giving the free bowls? Whatever wow. you want. You want to smoke? You want to try this weed before you buy it in the store right now? Yeah. I do actually. It's gotta be the best thing ever, huh? It was the greatest. Oh, it was the so greatest. I think the the word culture in cannabis gets screwed up really heavily right now, and I hate it. Um, but I think the only thing like for me that existed in cannabis culture as like micro cultures was like the culture within every dispensary. Because mm. um, there was like the dude that would smoke too much and pass out, and it wasn't <laughs> always the same dude. Sometimes it was like be a tourist who just came to hang out. I like, got lit up, and now he's there for a few hours. I'm like the aggressive, aggressive bud tender talking shit to you. <laughs> if you didn't know what you were talking about, like, yeah, there was just different cultures in stores and it made it more exciting. I think like now it's all kind of the same watered down. It's, you know, it's <clears throat> everyone's chasing the same customer mm. um, <clears throat> because there's more of that customer than there is anything else. Yeah. Um, the problem is like, there's a lot of different customers out there and the specialization piece still just hasn't happened yet. Cause we haven't gotten to that level, but yeah. we're getting. You think there. there'll be certain dispensaries in the future for certain customers? It's happening now, thank God. Mm. Um, so, like, there's like most of the stores we work with are what we would consider like more specialized accounts. Right, right. Um, right. They know what they're looking for. They know like kind the of customer they want. Like, go Globals, Evergreens, Outposts, Main Stages, mm-hmm. um, Mankinds. Or like, there's just a bunch of, but like, they're it's who we work with, right? Like, right. they're. They're looking at flour in a different way. They're trying to shape the future of cannabis rather than just sell some weed. Yeah, making some money. Like, mm-hmm. hell yeah. We have a cool opportunity being so early in this that we get to choose somewhat what goes forward and what exists. Right. And I want to work with the people who like smoking weed. Jeez. Fuck yeah. It's like, exciting times. I've smoked a lot on this show, probably a little too much, but like, I like it. It's fun. Hell yeah. It's this was a banger. It's always it. fun getting high. Yeah, it's a good little culture around. Right. Exciting. It's a big year. Big year for both of us. Woo. Big year for everybody watching this yes, sir. right now as well. Appreciate you guys tuning in to this episode. Episode 77 Woo. of Pied Park After Dark. What Barney a banger. In the middle of his rip. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for coming, Barney. Really Thank appreciate you. you. At Barney has the blueprint on Instagram. Anyone else they can find you? You're really an Insta man. I'm kind of just an Insta guy. I'm learning about Twitter. I have a YouTube Ooh. at some point. There you go. Insta man. All the way. Appreciate you, Gabby, of course. Tim, yeah. thank y'all for being here. Yes, you guys know what time it is. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that. We're trying to hit, we're trying to get a motherfucking plaque back there. All right. And we'll see you guys real soon. Oh, we're back on Spotify. Let's go. Let's go. We should have announced that at the beginning. Tits, my bad, guys. We are on Spotify again. Thank you guys so much. So make sure to check it out on there. And um, they're dropping some real cool features soon on Spotify. So yep. fucking hit that Stay up. Stay tuned. We'll see y'all soon. All right. Peace. Deuces.